can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, Chapter 101. Already pregnant after nine, Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai brought the kids home. The boys were all hyper when playing games this year. Last year, Senwa didn't know how to play. This year, he tailed them and joined their games, so he was tired at the moment. When they got home, they put them to bed at once. After Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai finished cleaning themselves, they also went to bed on the Kong. Zhou Qing Bai mentioned, Mother just asked, why aren't you pregnant yet? Listen to this. They all kept going on this non-stop this winter. She had already birthed three sons, so why birth more, ah? Uh? Was there an end to this topic? Third sister-in-law has it rough with her pregnancy. I saw how uncomfortable she was with morning sickness. Lin Qing, he said. Mother said you have a good physique. When pregnant with the boys, you had no reaction. Zhou Qing Bai responded. Who can be sure? Third sister-in-law had none with her previous two, but she experienced it this time. Lin Qing, he retorted, you want me to be like that? Naturally, Zhou Qing Bai didn't wish for it to happen to her. But why did he get the feeling his wife didn't want to give him a baby? You can't be thinking that I don't want to give you a child. Lin Qing, he said. Even if she didn't want to give birth, she couldn't tell him. It's not the truth? Zhou Qing Bai raised an eyebrow. Sure enough, he thought so. Lin Qing, he raised her hand and touched his handsome face, if I don't want to give you babies, then where did Dewa and his brothers come from? Zhou Qing Bai said nothing. It was so fast before, but now you aren't getting pregnant, Zhou Qing Bai said and began to remove her clothes. Lin Qing, he quickly stopped him, don't do it tonight, I'm tired. But it was impossible to rest. From 9 o'clock, two people busied away until 12 o'clock. This is shooting a New Year's Eve firework. Lin Qing, he remarked weakly. Zhou Qing Bai kissed her face with a grin and said, Wife, sleep B.A. Lin Qing, he was able to see that this one really wanted her to have a daughter, but there was no daughter in the original book. She felt she couldn't get pregnant now and it was definitely because of the inviolable storyline. She didn't want to have an accident, so she had to go to the hospital to get protection. After all, according to his frequency, maybe he can break the original storyline? On New Year's Day, Lin Qing, he didn't sleep in too much since third brother Lin's family was coming. She got up at around 8 o'clock. Third brother Lin and his wife came over at 9 o'clock. Initially, they planned to sit for a while and go, with no intention to stay for lunch. Somehow, they were made to stay for a meal. On New Year, relatives comes to visit, so how can they go back on an empty stomach? Witnessing third sister-in-law Lin's attitude, Lin Qing, he didn't care about the past matter. She can't really let the Dewa and his brothers have no uncle and aunt from her side, right? So, she kept them for lunch. Lunch was naturally a feast. In fact, it was eaten according to their family standard, but for third brother Lin and third sister-in-law Lin, it was extremely lavish. It was also due to their visit that Lin Qing, he found out. It turned out that because last year, third sister-in-law Lin, who gave birth to her second daughter, didn't even get an egg, so the couple separated from the family. They were allocated a bit of money and some food. As anticipated, it wasn't enough to feed them. Now you see what kind of people that old couple from old Lin family are, Lin Qing he said to Zhou Qing Bai after sending away third brother Lin's family. She heard from her younger sister-in-law, this time, when the family broke up, they just got ten yuans and some food. It was obvious there wasn't sufficient food, so the family had to tighten their belts. She didn't like to inquire about this. It was third sister-in-law Lin who brought it up when she helped out with the cooking. Zhou Qing Bai gave no response, after all, they were his parents-in-law. Should we help out? Zhou Qing Bai only asked this. No need. They didn't ask for it. Wait until they do and decide. What's more, our family doesn't have it easy either. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai nodded and said nothing. 
At the beginning of the new year, the family went to visit the old Joe's house. She played cards with the sisters-in-law to pass the time, while the children ran off happily. Lin Ching, he didn't intervene. After all, they were all old enough and the boys shouldn't be kept in restraint. It was just San Hua, who was too young and couldn't be allowed to copy his brothers, so he was brought over to old Joe's house. Like this, New Year's Day passed. The second day was the day when the married daughters returned home. Lin Qing, he did not go out to especially wait for Zhou Xiaomei today. However, against her expectation, Zhou Xiaomei did not return. Instead, Su De Lin came. Xiaomei is, is pregnant. Her, her reaction is big, so I. I came alone, alone. Su De Lin stuttered. But his tone couldn't conceal his happiness and joy. This older man had been single for so many years. Last year, he married his wife and this year, his wife was pregnant. It was the best moment in people's lives, right? That's wonderful. Brother-in-law, go back and tell her, we will go to see her in the city tomorrow. Lin Qing, he was delighted for Zhou Xiaomei and stated with a smile. Okay. Su De Lin grinned in agreement. Because Zhou Xiaomei was alone at home and was pregnant as well, Su De Lin left once he dropped the gifts of wine and sugar he brought with him. Eldest sister, eldest brother-in-law, second sister, and second brother-in-law also returned. Eldest sister, Zhou Xiao Wan, and second sister, Zhou Xiao Ju, were both older. And because they had been married long ago, Lin Qing, he wasn't really familiar with them. It was superficial relationships. Same for third sister-in-law. Since eldest sister-in-law and second sister-in-law married in earlier, their relationship with these two sisters was relatively closer. Lin Qing, he just went through the motion and gave some subtle talks. This year, fourth's wife acts more proper than the previous years. When Lin Qing, he returned home, eldest sister said to eldest sister-in-law. Eldest sister-in-law replied, De Wa's mother is very pleasant now. What's pleasant? Eldest sister, second sister, you don't know. Last time, I criticized her a little bit and she threw me to the ground. Second sister-in-law snorted. What? Both sisters were taken aback. It was a long time ago. And second's wife, we saw who moved their hand first at that time. Eldest sister-in-law indifferently pointed out. Third sister-in-law smiled, father and mother witnessed all it. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law looked at each other, both of them saw a repulsion in each other's eyes. This second's wife really knows how to find trouble when there's none and not even stopping on New Year's Day. Second sister-in-law rolled her eyes, I wasn't pregnant at that time. If I was pregnant and she threw me that way, see if she would take responsibility. As soon as these words came out, eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law looked at her. Second sister-in-law declared with slight proudness, it's almost a month. Yes, she was also pregnant. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law congratulated her. Then there was no more because being pregnant was not a rare thing. It's really a joyous matter. Eldest sister and second sister remarked with a smile to ease the atmosphere. Chapter 102 Raising kids, because they were married off, they can't really say anything about their maternal family's matter. They only come back a few times a year, so better to leave those disputes alone. During lunch, they gathered together to eat. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qingbai took their boy back home for lunch and didn't join in. As for second sister-in-law's pregnancy, Lin Qing, he still had no idea. On the third day, her whole family got ready and went straight to the county city to play. They reached the county city at nine o'clock. The family wandered around the city first. Lin Qing he initially wanted to go to the hospital, but when Zhou Qingbai asked her why she was going to the hospital, Lin Qing he looked at him with a worried look and said she was fine. In the end, Zhou Qingbai dug out the truth, she was going to the hospital to buy condoms. After Zhou Qingbai asked what was condoms, his face was black. On New Year, don't be like this. We came out to have fun. 
Lin Qing, he coaxed. Only then, Zhou Qingbai calmed his emotions. She still got reprimanded by his righteous words, saying that it was not good to go to the hospital during the new year. He firmly disallowed her to go. The family went to the shopping mall to get photographed. Because she still wanted to go to the hospital to buy that thing, Zhou Qing Bai's face was expressionless when it was his turn. No matter how Lin Qing he tried, she did not make him laugh. The boys were ecstatic getting their picture taken. They wished that they could take a few more photos and take a few more cool poses. Seeing that it was about done, they brought a basket of apples to see Zhou Xiaomei. Zhou Xiaomei's complexion was excellent. Zhou Xiaomei was delighted about her fourth brother's family's visit. Probably due to her pregnancy, her gaze tender at the sight of the boy's adorable appearance. She expressed her feelings of hope with Lin Qinghe. You and brother-in-law are good-looking, so your children won't fare badly. Lin Qing, he said, and then urged, starting now, eat more apples, understand? Don't eat too much, just eat one or two a day, is enough. Also consume more of soybeans, sesame, peanuts, and the likes. Yesterday, when brother-in-law came over, mother gave him a lot of soybeans. Buy some pork, big bones, and the likes. It'll be great to stew them together and eat. He's preparing all of these for me. Zhou Xiaomei abashedly responded. Lin Qing, he grinned, look, I'm right. He's a doting person. In his eyes, he can't see anyone except you. Zhou Xiaomei pursed her lips as she giggled. Her face radiated happiness. However, once your belly gets bigger this year, what will you do with your position in the factory? Lin Qing, he asked. At that time, I'll ask for leave. It's just the afterward, there'll be no one to look after the child. I want to send the baby back to let mother help me care for it. Let mother? Lin Qing, he froze, mother wants to work, she may not necessarily be free. How many work points can she earn when working? I have discussed with Da Lin. When the time comes, I will give mother five yuans a month to help me look after it, which is much better than going to the field. Zhou Xiaomei justified. This is a good idea. If it was five yuan a month at this time, it was certainly good. After all, Zhou Xiaomei's salary was only worth so much. Fourth sister-in-law, if the child is left at home, do help out when you're free. Zhou Xiaomei said. I don't know how to look after kids. Lin Qing, he froze for a moment. Why was she pulled in? Da Hua and his brothers are raised so wonderfully, Zhou Xiaomei looked at her. Lin Qing, he twitched her mouth, did you forget the days they had when they were younger? That soft appearance, I get numb scalp at the sight of it. They all grow up by themselves, only then I can get hands on. When they were younger, I simply dump them on the Kong. Then Zhou Xiaomei recalled it. In the past, her fourth sister-in-law was really like that. Because she had taken such great care of them now, she almost forgot that she previously didn't care about the boys. However, when the child grows up a bit, I will help take care of it. At what age, do you plan to put your kid at home for mother, to care? Lin Qing, he asked her. I asked the factory, the factory said at most two months leave. Zhou Xiaomei, sighed. What did brother-in-law say? Lin Qing, he asked again. Da Lin still wants me to stop going to work and watch the child at home. I'm unwilling to. Zhou Xiaomei replied, this work was what fourth sister-in-law helped me gain after a lot of effort. So many people want it but can't. So how could I bear to let go? It's not a bad idea to give mother five yuans a month to have her help you. What's more, mother can't possibly mistreat her grandchild. Lin Qing, he nodded. She also didn't approve of giving up work, especially at this time, where employment was very rare. From the start, Zhou Xiaomei was marrying above her station. With a career, Su Da Lin's uncle's family would highly look upon her. So to give up work for the child, even if it was significant, no one would care about this and she will be taken for granted in the future. You breastfeed for two months, 
and then give the baby to mother home after two months. Lin Ching, he suggested, third sister-in-law is also pregnant. The timing is approximately the same, so at that time, you can give some rations. Third sister-in-law is pregnant? Zhou Xiaomei didn't know this yet, her eyes brightened. Yeah, so I think it's perfect for you to send the child back. When third sister-in-law is in postnatal confinement, you will have to give her more meat and eggs so that she can have enough milk for two. Lin Qing, he advised. At this time, women didn't have enough to have breast milk, let alone for two. However, if Zhou Xiaomei sent some more good stuff back, third sister-in-law would be more than willing to help her. I will. Zhou Xiaomei was extremely overjoyed, she didn't expect such a coincidence. If this happens, it will be much easier. Of course, they had lunch there. Su Da Lin cooked. He was now doing all the chores at home. He was delighted that Zhou Xiaomei can take a few more bites, so how can he be willing to let her cook? After lunch, the family went to watch the movie. Zhou Xiaomei expressed her envy. What is there to envy? Once the snow is gone in the spring, you will be able to go watch it at that time. It's also convenient. You don't have to travel so far as we do. Lin Qing, he said. Then the family bid goodbye. I told fourth sister-in-law, fourth sister-in-law also thought it was good to send the baby back to my mother. And my third sister-in-law is pregnant. Her date is similar to mine. Zhou Xiaomei bubbly mentioned to Su Dalin. Su Da Lin was also very delighted, then. Do we need to give money? Give what money? When the time comes, it's enough to send more eggs and pork back. Zhou Xiaomei waved her hand. Christian carp, carp good for breastfeeding. Su Dalin said. This is what he heard from his aunt. As for his uncle and aunt, they weren't free, because they both have to work. Also, they have their own families, so they have no obligation to care for their children. So they can only focus on old Joe's side. And, when it's time to give birth, we'll send some Christian carp back. Zhou Xiaoming nodded. Because they solved the problem of the afterbirth, the husband and wife were a lot relaxed. As for Lin Qing, he, Zhou Qing Bai, and the boys, they entered the cinema. The family of five was in the midst of watching the movie. Chapter 103 Determined to get a daughter last year, the family watched Large Chaos in the Sky, and this year, they also watched a cartoon called Little Tadpoles Looking for Mommy. Both of these movies were attention-grabbing, even Lin Qing, he was interested in watching, let alone the boys. Zhou Qing Bai had no expression. Lin Qing, he occasionally glanced at him. He felt it, then glanced back at her. His expression was bland. Lin Qing, he knew that this guy was holding a grudge against her. Whatever the matter, we can talk about it at home. For now, watch the movie and don't be angry. What else can Lin Qing he do? She can only hold his hand and whispered. Zhou Qingbai shot her an indifference glance before continuing to watch the movie. After the movie, the gaze de Wa had toward Lin Qing, he had a little bit of watery. Needless to say, Er Wa and San Wa. San Wa simply expressed it by wanting his mother to hug him, while Er Wa wanted his mother's hand. They didn't want to be like the little tadpoles, who couldn't find their own mothers. It was so pitiful to search for so long. Lin Qing, he. What was going on with each and every one of them? In the end, Sanhua was held by Zhou Qing Bai, while Lin Qing, he held onto De Wa's and Er Wa's hands. Together, they headed over to the restaurant. They bought apples again and then went home. De Wa go to write a page of your afterthought. After arriving home, Lin Qing, he sent De Wa off with this. What afterthought? De Wa froze for a moment. It's your feelings and thoughts after watching today's movie. Lin Qing, he clarified. Actually, De Wa did have quite a lot to express, so off he went. Er Wa piped up, Mother, I also have afterthoughts. You still don't recognize many words, just use do it verbally. Lin Qing, he nodded. Er Wa voiced out his opinion, when the little tadpoles were young, 
they didn't know what their mother looked like, so they misunderstood that the goldfish, crab, tortoise, and catfish were their own mothers. They looked different from their mothers. When they grew up, they became like their mothers, and they know who their mother was then. Wonderful. Lin Ching, he affirmed. Erwa continued, but we are different from frogs. They all look the same. We grow differently, so mother, you can't abandon us, otherwise, you won't recognize us as your son once we grow up. Taken aback, Lin Ching, he looked at him, when did I say I'll abandon you? Mother never did. I was just saying. Erwa said. I'm afraid you weren't just mentioning it, more like hammering it into me. Lin Ching, he gave an unamused smile, Zhou Erwa, do you miss getting a beating? He he, I really like you. Erwa hugged her legs as he spoke. Go and stay in your room. Lin Ching, he didn't fall for it and sent him away. Erwa giggled back into his room. Lin Ching, he came to the backyard. Zhou Ching Bai was taking care of the pigs in the backyard. Cough, Ching Bai, I will give you a hand. Lin Ching, he dryly coughed and said. Zhou Ching Bai just swept an indifferent glance at her and then continued to work on his own. Lin Ching, he said in a hushed voice, I say, that should be about it. If you keep giving me that attitude, I won't wait upon you. Zhou Ching Bai still ignored her and continued to work away. Lin Ching, he harumphed and turned back around. This obstinate ox really want to go head on against her, let's see how long he can keep it up. Zhou Ching Bai helplessly watched her back. After going to bed at night, Lin Ching, he ignored him, but that didn't stop Zhou Ching Bai at all. The two of them battled under the quilt hard and made a lot of movements. Father, mother, what are you doing? Dewa said in confusion. Lin Ching, he was startled, while Zhou Ching Bai ordered, continue to sleep. Dewa said, then you must be good, don't quarrel. After that, he went to bed. Then Lin Ching, he was taken advantage of by Zhou Ching Bai. Lin Ching, he couldn't help but call out. Zhou Ching Bai laughed and Lin Ching, he hit him, get off me. Zhou Ching Bai turned deaf to words. At this moment, he just worked and did not speak. Lin Qingha didn't have time to care about other things anymore. When she got blown away, Zhou Qingbai interrogated her, you don't want to have a daughter? Lin Qing, he really wanted to hit someone. Every time he pushed her up to the skies, he challenged her, Zhou Qingbai, are you still a man? Zhou Qingbai chuckled, then gave her a wild storm. Lin Qing, he endured a lot when she received the rain against banana. She couldn't even utter a sound. Everything calmed down, and Zhou Qingbai asked as his arms wrapped around her, it'll be great to have a daughter. Lin Qing, he gasped for a while and then ordered him, quickly get off. It's good to block it in. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he blushed. Zhou Qingbai kept hugging her, sleep. I want to sleep, but how can I sleep with you like this? Everyone else wants a son. Why do you want a daughter? I saw my third sister-in-law, Lin, s eyes lit up when she saw Da Wa and his brothers. Lin Qing, he said. When third sister-in-law Lin saw the boys on New Year's Day, her eyes were burning hot. Third sister-in-law Lin had two daughters in a row. The first one was all right. But when the second one was a daughter, she couldn't even have proper postnatal confinement. Despite Father Lin and Mother Lin being ignorant, third sister-in-law Lin also wanted a son. Sons are all right, daughters are even better. A daughter like you, I will treasure her. Zhou Qingbai kissed her and declared. It was said that the daughter is the lover from the last life. So you want the lover from the last life over me? Lin Qing, he questioned. Daughter is a daughter. You are you. Not the same. Zhou Qingbai laughed before responding. If I am pregnant, then you cannot touch me for so long. Do you think you can bear it? Lin Qing, he sacrificed this killer move again. As anticipated, Zhou Qingbai hesitated for a while. But it was just a moment, I should be able to bear it for a year. Before I came back, that was how it was. 
you slept on your own before you came back. Now you're home, you sleep with me every night. Do you think you can restrain yourself? Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. I want a daughter. Zhou Qingbai moved a little and stated with slight evasiveness. This stubborn guy. Lin Qing, he didn't know that he had this side of him. Lin Qing, he pulled his face and said, I want to see how thick your skin is. Wife, birth me one. Zhou Qingbai pecked her and persisted. Lin Qing, he looked at him and turned her face, didn't I birth you three? Zhou Qingbai knew that. But when she gave birth to the boys before, he didn't get to watch any of it. Mother Zhou watched the whole journey. He would like to have another one with her. As long as it was one, it was enough. It's painful to give birth to a child. You stinky man, just care about himself. Do you know how much pain I was in? Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qingbai sighed helplessly. Then he remained unmoving on her body. As he said, he'll block it in. Lin Qing, he uttered, don't you know how heavy you are? Do you want to crush me to death? Zhou Qingbai half supported himself up but showed his determination for a daughter with his actions. Chapter 104 When did your father hit me? Lin Qing, he decided to definitely go to the hospital by herself when she went to town to sell pork. As for the present, she believed that there should be no problem. After all, she had no news after so long, right? Or next time she should go to the hospital to check if she has any problems? The next morning Lin Qing, he slept in, all because Zhou Qing Bai, the wolf, was resting on her and started again. So whatever blocking he said was an excuse. Besides, she didn't say she won't give birth. What could she do if she couldn't get pregnant? The force of the storyline existed, so maybe it was because of this? Because these three villains' sons had no sister in the novel. The days in the first month were quite pleasant. When Lin Qing, he had nothing to do, she cooked up some treats for the boys, such as red bean mantu. The red beans were soaked, then steamed with rock sugar, and crushed into a mud-like state. The red bean paste was stuffed into the mantu as the filling. This was the red bean mantu, which tastes especially delicious. A hint of red bean sponge cake feel. Lin Qing, he quite liked it. On the 15th of the first lunar month, they ate dumplings for the Lantern Festival. In addition, she made a southern-style glutinous balls, the glutinous balls with black sesame filling were also superb and yummy. After the Lantern Festival was over, Lin Qing, he came to the city on this day to dispose of the pork. She told Zhou Qingbai that she had a meeting with Zhou Xiaomei. Zhou Qingbai did not stop her, so Lin Qing, he came by herself. The boys were left to Zhou Qingbai. After she got rid of the pork, she headed to the hospital. She came here to buy protections and have a body check. You came ah. Uh. Why didn't you come to the re-examination I told you to have? When she came over to find the gynecology director, the gynecology director asked her. Lin Qing, he froze for a moment. Looking at the gynecology director, the familiar face of the gynecology director appeared in her head. She really knew this gynecology director. Was too busy, so I didn't have time to come. Lin Qing, he held her composure and nodded as she spoke. There's no need to re-examination now. You should have recovered very well. The gynecology director judged her appearance and nodded. I almost forgot you, director. I had to inquire as I go. I didn't expect with so many people coming in and out of the hospital, the director still remembers me. Lin Qing, he chuckled. I have worked for so many years and had only encountered you, who came to get legation. What's more, such a beauty. How can I not remember you? The director of gynecology laughed. These words were like a frightening thunder striking in her mind and stunned her. Immediately afterwards, the memory buried deep in the original owner emerged. There was no trigger point before, so she never knew that the original owner got ligation. But Lin Qing, he also recalled the original storyline. 
After the original owner ran away with Chen Shan, the scum man, she was got completely rejected and kicked away because she had nothing to give, t slash n, refer to not giving him children. She didn't think much at the time. She also never thought that the original owner actually got ligation. Triggered by the gynecology director, her memories of this emerged. Because the original owner gave birth to three sons for old Zhou family, she felt secured and no longer wanted to have another baby. Speaking of this, her thoughts were really advanced, to even get herself legated and be done with it. But she went down the wrong path and received such an ending in the end. But the point was, now that the original owner got ligation done, how can she tell Zhou Qing Bai? He longed for a daughter. Knowing that she was legated, she was cool with it. Now she didn't even need a condom anymore. She won't get pregnant again in this life. Lin Qing, he didn't stay long before she returned. Of course, she also bought some fabric before she went home. She planned to make new clothes for herself. Zhou Qingbai also needed another set made. No need for the boys. Since the previous ones can be still worn as it was made bigger. In the evening, Zhou Qingbai wanted to do his homework again. Lin Qing, he let him do it. In fact, she liked doing this kind of homework. Especially, her Qingbai being so manly, it made her have an awareness as a woman. Zhou Qingbai was a little surprised. After it was over, he asked her, weren't you going to get that? What is that? Lin Qing, he hadn't recovered yet. The thing you go to the hospital for. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he regained herself and smiled as she replied, didn't I say I went to see Xiaomei? I said I won't get it, then I won't. She didn't need that thing anymore. If he got the ability to make her pregnant, she'll birth at four. She can keep to her words. Seeing her like this, Zhou Qingbai assumed she thought it. He was obviously pleased. Once pleased, he pulled her for another round. The next day after he was busy, Lin Qinghe's period came. Zhou Qingbai's complexion had Lin Qing, he wanting to laugh when she saw it. All right already. I promised that I'll give birth if I got pregnant, so don't go showing that face to me. Lin Qing, he patted his face and stated. Zhou Qingbai couldn't understand it. It was so easy to get pregnant in the past. Those years when he came back, it added up to barely a month and she gave him three sons. Now that he was home and was working so diligently every night, she wasn't pregnant. Lin Qing, he left him alone, and was finally able to take a rest. From the beginning of winter isolation, it seems that she can only rest for a few days once her period arrives? The rest of the time, she had to do homework. Lin Qing, he was a bit embarrassed. She had no experience in her previous life. It was overblessed to meet such a man in this life. Was it to make up for not having any man in the past life? Lin Qing, he, whose mind filled with flowers, left it alone and went back to the room to make new clothes. De Hua saw it and gathered around, Mother, are you making clothes for me? Mother, I want it too, Er Hua piped. New clothes. Sanwa also joined up. Lin Qing, he dismissively answered, off to one side. You got clothes, so why make it? I'm making it for myself. Your father also gets a set. Mother is being partial. Father gets it, we don't. We want it too. Erwa pestered. Me too. Sanwa stuck closer and persisted. What want? That gang Tai only has one set of clothes, unless like you, who wear two sets of clothes. Lin Qing, he said. Gang Tai was Erwa's friend. Erwa was angry, as was Sanwa. Father beats you. Mother, do you have to make clothes for him? Dewa, who silent for a long time, spoke out shocking words. Lin Qing, he was taken aback for a moment and asked, When did your father hit me? Don't hide it from me, mother. I heard it father hit you last night. You didn't dare to call out. I was too sleepy. I wanted to wake up, but I couldn't wake up, Dewa said. At once, Lin Qing, his face turned red. 
Zhou Qingbai came in right at this time. Immediately, Er Hua swept a stern gaze at him, Father, why did you hit my mother? Baffled, Zhou Qingbai uttered, When did I hit your mother? You still want to weasel out of it. My eldest brother heard it. You hit last night and my mother didn't dare to cry out. Er Hua cleverly displayed the logic, clearly. Chapter 105 I heard it with my own ears, Daddy, you want to quibble, I heard it myself, there was one more time before. Dewa also said, with a serious face. Sanwa went straight down to hug Zhou Qingbai's legs, and hit him a few times, then looked at his mother, don't be angry. Lin Qingha originally felt very ashamed. Is it even more embarrassing to be spoiled by these little ghosts, when doing husband and wife homework? But seeing the three sons protecting herself in this way, she was sour from the heart, and then moved for a while. Lin Qinghe came up and picked up the three baby, then gave Zhou Qingbai a glance, Zhou Qingbai had already understood, he also wanted to laugh a little. The baby woke up in the middle of the night before, thinking that he had forgotten, but did not expect to forget. He was overheard last night. Lin Qinghe didn't need to speak. He explained to the second baby, and the third baby, in his arms, your father didn't hit me. How is that possible? I won't hear it wrong. Dawa didn't believe it. He remembered helping his mother in particular at that time, but he was helpless at a young age and was too sleepy to get up. Mother, don't help dad cover up, we will not forgive dad's crimes. Erwa is still on the line. Hit back. Sanwa was in her arms and waved a small, milk fist warningly to his father. Really, it wasn't your father who hit me, it was your mother who had nightmares. Lin Qinghe said, the mother has nightmares, and you have woken up the big baby. Your two little ones are sleeping like piglets, your father wakes up too, and he comforts me. This statement is still very reliable. Dawa believed a little, Erwa didn't know why, what's a nightmare? He always felt dawn and he didn't dream except that he urinate in the middle of the night. The baby explained to him, nightmare is dreaming of bad things. Brother, have you ever dreamed? Erwa asked him. Yes, I dreamed that my pig's feet were stolen by the steel you brought home. I was so angry that I kicked him into the water and I was scared. Dawa said. Isn't that drowned? Erwa said with wide eyes. Nonsense, De Jingyu is not allowed to talk nonsense. Lin Qinghe said. But after such a disruption, even if the three brothers understood, it turned out that it wasn't the father who hit the mother, it was the mother who had a nightmare, and the father was comforting the mother. This thing is very embarrassing, you are not allowed to go outside and say, otherwise you will be told to hear a few sentences, and then all the odds and ends will be cancelled, and it will be done. Lin Qinghe warned and looked at Dawa Erwa. Dawa Erwa gave a generous response, so she can rest assured, they will definitely not tell the mother to be scared by nightmares and dad to comfort him. Looking at you so well, one person rewards you with a new set of clothes. Lin Qinghe said. Hey, mother, are you bribing us? Dawa laughed. Lin Qinghe smiled and beat him, this kid will use bribes. Even if this matter came to light. While the children were out, Lin Qinghe warned Zhou Qingbai, the next time you do that, you'll let me sleep. You like it too. Zhou Qingbai told the truth. OZW.com When I hugged him, I hugged it tightly and cooperated with him so that there was a tendency to squeeze him out. Lin Qinghe blushed, I won't be allowed in the future. Zhou Qingbai turned to the clothes in her hand, you can do it with the children, I have. You have to do another dress, Lin Ching has said. Because of the source of pork income, she didn't want to feel wronged at home. After one month, I made a little more money on pork than Sudalin, because the price of pork on the black market has risen, and a pound has increased by nearly two gross money. And starting this year, she also plans to buy some food with the team and make a difference in the black market. The profits among them are also very considerable enough to earn enough wages for two or three months. There's room for it, so she's really comfortable with the sale. Lin Qinghe took the clothes and processed them on the sewing machine of the old Zhou's house, 
and then talked to Wednesday's wife about Zhou Xiaomei's plan to bring the child home to Zhou mother to raise. Xiaomei said that when Sanyu was confinement, she could send you some good comeback confinement, and she thought that the child would come back at that time, so that you could also help milk and milk. Lynching her, said to Wednesday. Wednesday was naturally uncomfortable and was not unexpectedly happy, but lowered his voice and said, Where is the second one? What does it have to do with her? Lynching hath shouted. She doesn't know about the pregnancy on Tuesday, but it is still very cold in the first month. She is basically at home, at best, she is next to Huang Dunyang next door, and then there is Zhou Dong, Zhou Xi's brother and sister. Turn around, because there is such a presence on Tuesday as Lao Zhou S, she rarely comes here, naturally she doesn't know. Seeing she didn't know, she said it on Wednesday. Lin Qingha pumped at the corners of his mouth, which was really speechless. He really rushed to get pregnant together. She is her, you are you, and Xiao Mei is not willing to marry her even a peanut when she marries. Xiao Mei will not give it to her. Lin Qingha said, and then watched Wednesday, what do you think? If you go to the county next time, tell your aunt that I'll take care of this. She smiled on Wednesday. As for saying that it was impossible for her to understand her aunt because of her concubine on Tuesday, she and her concubine on Tuesday were just fine, and it was true that there was no friendship. Where would I give up sitting on a good confinement because of Tuesday's death? You know, she gave birth to Wu and I before. When Zhou Dong Dong was not born, on Tuesday, she secretly and secretly, but did not run on her too much, and treated her as if she could never be born again. Speaking of which there is no righteousness, there are some resentments. However, in the end it was all under one roof, so some things were still bearable, but it was impossible to give up what Zhou Xiaomei had brought to her to confine her in order to avoid feelings on Tuesday. Lin Qingha also laughed and responded. How is the baby doing her reading? He asked on Wednesday. It's not bad. Every time I get a hundred points back, he learned to recite the second grade in advance. He plans to go to the third grade next year. Lynching has said. Go to third grade at such a young age? Cried Wednesday. Will you be bullied? It would be nice if he didn't bully people. Lynching has laughed. The big baby is not small. Although she is seven years old, she and Zhou Qingbai are not short. Zhou Qingbai is one meter up from 85. She also has about one meter six or seven. Not bad, and not too weak, no less fighting, but he did not suffer at all. Chapter 106 I'll go to study, however, under Lin Qing he's teaching, De Hua didn't get into brawls much. She pretended to not know about the occasional private fights. Boys, they must fight when they were young, as it was very beneficial to their physical and mental health. She can't be too strict. Dewa was naturally bold and had excellent grades, so he can easier make friends. Third sister-in-law expressed, I also want to send Wu and I to school. Then do it. Lin Qing, he stared at her with slight bewilderment and then responded. None of the girls in old Zhou family studied. Eldest sister-in-law's three girls, second sister-in-law's two daughters, and third sister-in-law's Wu and I never been to school. It wasn't her child and not her responsibility. It would be great if she could manage her boys well, so naturally, she wouldn't speak out. To her surprise, third sister-in-law brought this up to her. So she gave a positive answer. You also thinks it's good? Third sister-in-law looked at her. Of course it's better to study. People who read books will be smart and get infinite possibilities in the future. If not, they will spend their entire life in the field, and even entering a city will become a luxury. Let's not talk about other things. In the beginning, when old Zhou family chose me not only for my looks, but also because they heard that I have studied before and recognized words. Lin Qing, he said. Third sister-in-law asked, how much is a semester fee? It's not expensive, just a few yuans. You and third brother can afford it. Let Wu and I go to school. After she grows up, she will definitely appreciate you. Lin Qing, he said. 
it's not necessary to be grateful, as long as she will do fine is enough. Third sister-in-law smiled. Lin Ching, he nodded. Parents' hearts were like this, they hoped for the best for the children, except for Father Lin and Mother Lin. Third sister-in-law decided to let Wu and I go to school. Wu and I was overjoyed to hear the news. Wu and I can go to school, but for the other and I girls, they weren't so lucky. However, second sister-in-law's Zhou San and I had her thoughts. But as soon as it was expressed, it was suppressed by second sister-in-law, what studying? Is that useful? Do you not see those educated youth in the village? Aren't they still coming to the countryside to farm? In one sentence, it shut Zhou San Ni's mouth. Second sister-in-law also complained to second brother, fourth's wife is rich, and third's wife is following her suit. What are they doing? Second brother gave his honest opinion, it's not like we don't have money. We can send San and I and Lu and I to school for a few years. Although studying was really useless, but it's still good to study, at least they can recognize words. I'm not letting one go, and you want two to go. Do you think your family's money is blown by the wind? How many girls are studying in the whole village? Second sister uttered an ire. At the end of last year, every family got a share of some money after the family separation. This money was firmly held by second sister-in-law and she would never take it out. Used for her daughter's education? It was a waste of money. She also might not plan to send her son to school. Second brother didn't say anything. Eldest sister-in-law privately seek out third sister-in-law to ask why she suddenly wanted to send Wu and I to school. Well, I saw the Wu's mother is still reading and studying at home and felt it's good for girls to study and be able to recognize words. She must admit that she was undoubtedly envious when she saw fourth's wife writing so well and can read so many books. So when she heard about the Wu's school progress, her mind spun. Before the family wasn't divided, so she didn't speak out. Now they had separated, she held the decision, so she wanted to send her daughter to school. Is it that wonderful to study? Eldest sister-in-law was puzzled. I don't know. I did ask Dewa's mother. Dewa's mother told me that going to school and being able to recognize words make it easier to find a good marriage in the future. Third sister-in-law grinned. These words gained eldest sister-in-law's approval. Her eldest daughter wasn't young. If she said that she had studied when seeking marriage, then her in-law would respect her more. Then I will send to N.I., Air N.I., and C. N.I. to study together for a bit. Eldest sister-in-law hesitantly expressed. Asked a was mother. Sister-in-law on Wednesday couldn't explain, so she could only suggest this. Eldest sister-in-law also felt that Lin Qing he was very knowledgeable, so when Lin Qing he came over the next day to use the sewing machine again, she brought this up to her. Lin Qing, he smiled, it's definitely good to send the girls to school. But how many years do you plan to let them study? Enough to recognize words. Eldest sister-in-law answered. Then go. Two or three years should be sufficient. If they work harder, they can also handle the house chores. Lin Qing, he said. Dewa's mother, you approve as well? Eldest sister-in-law smiled in response. Whether I agree or not, it's not important. The main point is how you think, eldest sister-in-law. Personally, I support letting the girls study and recognize the words. At that time, we didn't have the condition to. Now you are all separated, you're the master of your own family. This last sentence was spoken a little softer, as it can't be freely expressed. Eldest sister-in-law nodded her head. Ain't that right? In the past, they were happy that they were able to eat one bite more. They never thought about studying before. But now they were in a lot better condition, at least they can study a bit. Danai isn't young. She is a cultured person once she enters school. People, who aren't well off, will not dare to come and mention marriage. Lin Qing, he said. Eldest sister-in-law nodded. Then she decided to let all three daughters go to school 
but they still had to help with the work like getting more pigweeds for work points Zhou Er and I, and Zhou C and I, was delighted, while Zhou De and I hesitated, Mother, will I too old at this age? What old? You're only 14 years old. Go study for two years. Eldest sister-in-law stated. After studying for two years, she can then stay at home for another four or five years. At that time, it was just right to get married. So when the new semester began, Dewa took his sisters to school and paid for tuition. Zhou Qingbai also came along. Because a parent's presence was required to help Dewa handle the matter of skipping into third grade. Dewa skipping grade, cause a small sensation. What? Zhou Qingbai's eldest son, can study? Not only did he study at a young age, but he can also still skip to the third grade. Zhou Dewa was especially proud of this. Lin Qing, he poured cold water on him, be proud then. This time, you are able to pass. But if you can't study well in the third grade, how many people envy you now is how many people will laugh at you in the future. My study won't go terrible. Dewa went to memorize the text. After memorizing, he came to Lin Qing, he, to get her to check him. Had to say, this kid had an excellent memory. He could memorize a text after reading it four or five times. Worthy of being the future villain. After finishing reciting the text, he did his math and then ran out to play. Lin Qing, he left him be. Before he headed out, she stuffed a red date mantu to him to let him fill his stomach. Mother, when can I go to school? Erwa sighed as he munched on the red date mantu. Next year. You can learn with your elder brother first this year. If you don't understand, ask him. Maybe, you can enter second grade directly. Lin Qing, he knew that none of these three sons were easy to fool, so she could only seriously answered. All right. Zhou Erwa's eyes lit up. Chapter 107. Unvirtuous as expected. Did, this move of old Zhou family caused a stir within the village. What? People had already become accustomed to Lin Qing, he spent thrifty ways. If one day she doesn't, only then would they be shocked. However, it was eldest sister-in-law Zhou and third sister-in-law Zhou. What was going on? They couldn't get the head around it, especially eldest sister-in-law Zhou. She actually sent all three daughters to school? Let alone other people, even Mother Zhou was slightly stunned when she found out. She didn't say anything though. After all, they had separated now, and each go their own way. If she sticks in, she'll be looking for disdain, she just grumbled to Father Zhou, in private. Father Zhou was also quite puzzled, but he didn't pay too much heed to it, since they're living on their own, then leave them be. It's not like they don't know what they're doing. Girls, what's the point of them studying? Mother Zhou muttered. What's more three of them in one go, what were they thinking? Didn't Xiaomei study too? Father Zhou raised his eyelids and pointed out. Mother Zhou said nothing. If their youngest daughter hadn't been to school, then she wouldn't be able to have the chance to get the interview for the job. But no matter what the outsiders thought, the matter of old Zhou family's girls going to school was settled. Zhou Dewa had received great dependence from his sisters for a while, because the girls didn't understand a lot. They needed to be taught by Dewa. However, Dewa was mischievous. He wasn't home most of the time, especially now that it was spring. There was no short of him climbing trees and stealing from birds and the likes. Last time, he brought back a nest of bird eggs and asked Lin Qing he to cook it for him. Lin Qing, he tossed it into the kanji, and it was especially delicious. Who hadn't done these things when they were a child? So Lin Qing, he didn't stop him. Then Dewa brought back a few small birds to be raised. Lin Qing, he left him be, and let him raise them. Also Erwa and Sanwa, they obviously took a liking to it. Therefore, when the girls came to the house to find Dewa with questions about their homework and Dewa wasn't home, Lin Qing, he would generally teach them. Only then, these girls knew that their fourth aunt was so great. No wonder she did a good job in raising Dewa, Erwa, and Sanwa. 
Among Da and I, Er and I, Wu and I, Si and I, there was also San and I. San and I was second sister-in-law's eldest daughter. Despite having a bad relationship with second sister-in-law, Lin Qing, he won't pass her anger to San and I as one generation's matter was one generation. San and I wanted to go to school, but her mother refused to let her go, so she asked Da and I and the girls what they learned. She had a good relationship with Da and I and her sisters. San Ni's temperament was like her father, second brother Zhou, a likable person. Her sister, Lu and I, was like the exact copy of second sister-in-law. When San and I tagged along, Lin Qing, he would teach her too, giving her the same treatment as the other girls. As the sister studied in the hall, Lin Qing, he boiled the pre-soaked red beans, peanuts, dried longan, wolfberry, and red dates. For the finishing touch, she put a few lumps of this era's brown sugar. Because the girls came over, she made a little bit more. She only soaked that much red beans, so she increased the rest. After it was cooked, she gave the girls one bowl each. Fourth aunt, there's no need. Zhou Da and I quickly shook her head. Er and I and San and I quickly followed suit. Si and I and Wu and I were still too young. Looking at the red soup in the bowl emitting sweet fragrance, they drooled. Each person only gets one bowl. Any more, there's none. Drink it. This is beneficial to the girl. Lin Qing, he said. She only made this two or three times a month. Of course, Zhou Qing Bai and the boys get their servings too. Since this was mainly for relieving chill and supplement blood, it was great for women and girls. The girls looked at each other and then thanked their aunt. Lin Qing, he drank with them. After drinking, she asked them what they didn't understand before explaining it to them one by one. With this, she sent them back home to study. However, Da and I insisted on washing all the bowls they had used before leaving. Lin Qing, he was quite satisfied. It was indeed a daughter who was taught by eldest sister-in-law. More importantly, she put an effort into studying, even though she suffered this era's hardship. If this was the later generation, the parents would certainly dote them more. If they wanted to study, they have to offer it. Da and I and the girls left and the boys came back not long later. The brothers played till they were dirty all over. The eldest two were a little worried about being scolded, while the San Hua, the youngest, stood upright. Once he came back, he wanted to come over and hug Lin Qing, he. Lin Qing, he immediately ordered, hold it right there. Mother, I miss you. San Hua stared at her. Lin Qing, he snorted, don't think this will work. You went overboard when playing. San Hua stood still and gazed at her with grievance. Lin Qing, he swept her eyes to Da Hua and Er Hua, go bring your brother over to wash hands. Da Hua and Er Hua took San Hua away to wash their hands. After washing, Lin Qing, he sent them to scoop sweet soup and drink it. Mother, do you want to drink? Da Hua asked. I drank already. Your father hasn't drank it yet. Lin Qing, he said as she sewed the sole of the shoe without lifting her head. Then I'll leave some for father. After De Wa finished, he covered the pot and drank it with his two younger brothers. This wasn't a rare treat at home. They had drank it before. Even San Wan knew to spit out the seeds, without Lin Qing, he's reminder. After the brothers finished eating, Lin Qing, he had already scooped the water into the pot. So she sent the boys to heat water and bath. The brothers got so dirty from playing, they must wash up. As for making a seven-year-old de Hua do this, Lin Qing, he displayed no burden at all. Wasn't the son born to be ordered around? It wasn't like she'll pamper him. Heat the water for a bath now? Mother, do you need to cook first? De Wa asked. We're eating dumpling soup tonight. It'll be quick. You can wash up first and we'll see, replied Lin Qing, he. De Wa started to heat water. Er Wa assisted, while San Hua went to the backyard to watch pigs and chickens with Fei Ying. Once the water was ready, Lin Qing, he came over and scooped it. 
They were still young, so it was better if she scooped the hot water, they bathed in a large basin. A wooden one. One pot was enough for the three brothers. As they were too dirty, she let Dewa wash first, and then she washed the Erwa and Sanwa. Dewa didn't need her anymore, saying that he has grown up. Lin Qing, he respected him and let him do it. Even taking a bath, he won't settle down. While taking a bath, he messed around with Erwa and Sanwa. After one bath, Erwa and Sanwa were soaked. After cleaning up the three boys, Lin Qing, he continued to stitch the sols and waited for Zhou Qing Bai to get off work. It was the season of busy spring sewing now, and Zhou Qing Bai was back from work at almost six o'clock. But even so, he still had to work when he returned home. For example, he had to wash the naughty son's clothes, as well as the matter of pigsty and chicken pen in the backyard. Lin Qing, he would only be considerate when it was the summer harvest and autumn harvest. The rest of the time, he can handle it. She was that unvirtuous. Chapter 108 Ungrateful Lin Qing, he saw it was almost time when she was sowing the sole, so she then worked on rolling the dough and wrap up the dumpling filling. Her dumplings were thin skin and bountiful filling. The fillings were minced pork belly and celery which made it simple celery and pork dumpling. Still, the whole family loved it, especially the flavorful celery. Sure enough, once she made the dumplings, Zhou Qing Bai arrived home. Lin Qing, he spoke out, the water is ready for you. Wash your face and hand and prepare to eat dumplings. Zhou Qing Bai acknowledged her words. De Hua was doing homework, while Er Hua and San Hua were all writing and drawing on the table. Father, there is sweet soup in the pot, Erwa mentioned. Okay. Zhou Qingbai responded. After washing his face and hands, he felt he was a whole lot refreshed. Lin Qing, he stated, drink that soup later at night. You need to eat the main meal. The dumplings were quick to cook. Lin Qing, he brought it out a short time later. One bowl for each person. The bowl for Zhou Qingbai was enormous, while Lin Qing, he, and the three sons had small bowls. Zhou Qingbai's intake was about the total of the mother and son's intake. Of course, this was temporary. After a few more years, the house will be eaten until empty. At first, Zhou Qingbai thought that his wife was letting him have more, but now he understood that his wife's appetite wasn't big. If she ate a tiny bit more, she'll grumble about losing weight. This had Zhou Qing by feeling helpless. She was obviously very thin. He preferred her to be slightly fatter. However, she doesn't want to, saying that she'll lose her flair when fat. So Zhou Qing by let do as she likes now. After dinner, Lin Qing, he relaxed for a while before taking a shower. As for the dishes, that was De Wa's responsibilities. The cleaning in the yard was Erwa's task. The work in the backyard was Zhou Qing Bai's job. She and Sanhua were responsible for enjoying themselves. After taking a bath, she washed her clothes while she was at it. Her clothes don't need to be washed by Zhou Qing Bai, who doesn't know how to control his strength. Doing it herself was quite swift, taking less than three minutes. After she finished washing, Zhou Qing Bai had cleaned up the backyard. He then went to take a bath and washed his own clothes and the kids' clothes. After finishing these things, it was only a little after seven. There are two more chicks in the chicken pen? Zhou Qingbai asked his wife. Perfectly time to raise until summer harvest and kill it to nourish your body. Lin Qing, he was still working on the sols as she replied. She felt that she was really thoughtful. In the past, she never thought she would do these things but now she was making clothes and shoes. She felt like she was a truly attentive woman. Zhou Qingbai's expression softened. I don't know what I owe you, father and sons, in the last few lives to serve you as a cow and horse in this life. Lin Qing, he grumbled bitterly. Then she asked Zhou Qingbai to lift his feet and compared it before she busied away. I know you worked hard, Zhou Qingbai gazed at her. Lin Qing, he raised her eyes and looked at him, outsiders say I'm a splurger, 
not only do I ruin the family, but also ignorant in the way of life and ruining you. You're out of luck when you married me. I married you due to my last life's buildup. Zhou Qing Bai's eyes twinkled with humor, the words outside can't be treated as truth. Lin Qing, he sighed softly, I can only treat it as nothing, otherwise should I take it to heart. When sleeping at night, Zhou Qing Bai seriously doted on his wife. Lin Qing, he was held in his embrace, and she enjoyed the moment. As did Zhou Qing Bai. If you are bored at home, take Air Wa and San Hua to watch movies. Zhou Qing Bai suggested. Watching movies isn't necessary. Da Hua will nag when find out. I'm going to take the boys to go shopping in the city tomorrow. Lin Qing, he responded. Buy whatever you want to eat. Zhou Qing Bai said. Lin Qing, he expressed her acknowledgement. The couple slept in a huddle. Lin Qing, he wanted to stay away from him because she couldn't stand the heat. But she was caught by him and couldn't sleep as she wished. The next day, De Hua was off to school while Zhou Qing Bai went to work. Lin Qing, he left Fei Ying to guard the house and locked the door before she took Er Hua and San Hua out. As for the pigs at home, they had already been fed. It was no problem to come back later and feed them later. Dressing so stylishly, she went out with her two sons. At first glance, one can tell she was going to the city. Look at how she acts. Everyone is working, and it's only her riding the bike like the city folks. If one didn't know, they would think she is going to work. Wang Ling, who had irked by Lin Qing, he last time, sneered. Second sister-in-law also carried a sneer, there's no money left at home, and she still dares to splurge so much. Let's see how her three sons will marry his wife in the future. Her belly was pretty big, but still, she had to work, no? But Lin Qing, he doesn't need to. She doesn't need to do anything and be idle at home all day long. How do you know that there's no money? From what I see, there's still lots, otherwise, would she dare to act like this? Wang Ling said. How much is enough for her to spend like this? I heard that she cut ties with her maternal family. Apparently, she returned to her maternal family to borrow money, but her maternal family did not lend it. Cut ties? Wang Ling uttered in bewilderment, didn't they say they have a disagreement? That's what they tell the outsiders. The money hadn't been borrowed and she hadn't returned to her maternal home for two years. If there's no money and she dares to live like this, do her three sons still need to marry a wife or not? It's not the same as before, the ladies marry as long as they have a meal. Wang Ling said. Who would bother with her? Second sister-in-law snorted. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law had also come to work. Both of them were behind. They didn't know what they said as they were a distance away, but knew it was definitely about Dewa's mother. De Nai came back yesterday and said that her fourth aunt invited the girls to drink a sweet tonic soup, and San Nai also had a share, eldest sister-in-law said. It wasn't just Zhou De Nai who mentioned it on return, Zhou Wu and I had done the same with third sister-in-law. This is being ungrateful. Third sister-in-law curled her lips. Her daughter came back and said that the sweet soup contains red dates, red beans, goji berries, dried longan, and peanuts. What's more, it was cooked in brown sugar. So sweet and flavorful, it was especially delicious. Dewa's mother didn't mind so much and gave San and I a bowl. San and I was a sensible person, so she would definitely say it when she went back. I don't understand, what does she hope to achieve by doing this? Eldest sister-in-law voiced out. Third sister-in-law laughed, who knows. Back to Lin Qing, he sighed. She came to the county city to sell the pork. It had accumulated for a while, so there was a lot. After getting rid of it, Lin Qing, he took her two sons to the mall. She bought some school supplies for Dewa, a few children's books for Er Hua, and some glass marbles for San Hua. The little ones were delighted. Er Hua, who received the children's book, was so ecstatic that he was attached to it at once. If your elder brother wants to see it, you have to lend it to him. 
you can't hoard it. Lynching, he stated. Yes. Erwa happily agreed. Lynching, he took the two of them to wander around again. As she pondered about what else they need to add at home, she bought it and then went home. Chapter 109 Spring Pancakes It was only ten o'clock when the mother and sons brought these things home. Mother, I'm hungry, said Sanwa as he held on to his mother's legs. Erwa, go and make your brother some malted milk. Lin Ching, he ordered. I want it too. Erwa declared. Then make two glasses. Lin Ching, he nodded. Erwa went to make the malted milk. Sanwa happily tailed his second brother. Lin Ching, he started to cook pig food. The two pigs that were brought back last winter were hungry at this moment in the backyard. After the pig food was cooked, Lin Ching, he scooped it and feed it to the pig. She had also scooped some for the chicken. There were two additional ones in the chicken pen. They were intended for Zhou Qing Bai. If he didn't eat well in the summer harvest, it'll be really unbearable. After finishing feeding the pigs and chickens, Lin Qing, he started to make the dough swiftly. She planned to make spring pancakes for lunch. Spring pancakes were perfect for spring days. As the dough rested, she scrubbed the pot again and then went to the backyard to cut a handful of tender leeks. She shredded the potatoes and chopped the onions as preparation. She took out some pork from the space, cut it into shred, and fried five eggs. After all these ingredients were prepared, the dough was ready. Lin Qing, he began to knead and roll the dough again. Once she made the whole family's share, Zhou Dewa happened to come back from school. Mother, you bought glass marbles and children's books for them. What did you buy for me? Zhou Dewa put down his school bag and came over. I bought school supplies for you. It's on your con. Didn't you see them? Lin Qing, he gave him an eye roll. Mother, did you buy me something else? Of course, Zhou De Hua saw it, but that was not what he wanted. Other? I did want to buy it for you, but I didn't bring enough money this time. Lin Qing, he responded. Don't coax me, mother. Zhou De Hua didn't believe it. Then you treated as me coaxing you. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Mother. Zhou Dewa began to be discontent. Lin Qing, he laughed, do you want a football? Football? Zhou Dewa's eyes widened. That's right. However, it's not cheap, more than 20 yuans, for a football. Lin Qing, he said. At this time, football was more than 20 yuans. It was really dear. What Lin Qing, he saw at the shopping mall, was brand new, and it never came in stock before. As for not bringing enough money, that was impossible. She collected all the money and coupons in the space. She just wanted to leave De Hua hanging for a bit. More than 20 yuans? Although Zhou De Hua was pleasantly surprised, he was immediately stunned. In his view, over 20 yuan was a lot. How much money did you save with Er Hua? Bring it over to me, I'll join the fund to see if it's enough. Lin Qing, he began to peel the skin and said. We just saved a yuan. Zhou Dewa stated. One yuan is also money. Lin Qing, he smiled, go ask Er Hua about that football, he also saw it. Zhou Dewa came over and asked Er Hua. Er Hua said, what do you want to do with that? It's for kicking. Eldest brother, come and read the children's book with me. It's interesting. I want it, Zhou Dewa persisted. Then you pester mother and let her buy it for you, Erwa said without looking up. Mother told me to come and get the money. Zhou Dewa said, go take the money out. The money they got from selling toothpaste tube was collected by Erwa. Their toothpaste was used up quite quickly because they have to brush their teeth day and night. The toothpaste tube was the two brothers' source of income. For the time being, Senwa didn't know what the money was, so he didn't join them. Toothpaste tubes were actually exchanged for sugar, but sugar wasn't something rare for both of them. It was available at home, no matter whether it was brown sugar, rock sugar, 
white sugar, or milk candy, or even malted candy. So it wasn't like they never had it before. So the brothers settled on exchanging for money. Bit by bit, they saved a yuan. Of course, it was occasionally used to buy things to eat, otherwise, there would have been more. What's our money enough for? Erwa came to a halt and said. Less talking. Just take the money out quickly. Joe de Wa urged. Erwa went to get the money. It was placed in a box. He came over with his eldest brother to find their mother. Mother, are you going to buy us football? Erwa directly asked. Yes, that's why your money is taken out to pool in together. Lin Ching, he nodded. But this is what we saved after great length and it's not much. Mother, you buy it for us, said Erwa. My money is also earned by your father after all that hard work. What's more, I have to buy you this and that. This time, I also made new clothes for you. Lin Ching, he clarified. Erwa hugged the box, sighed halfway through it, and handed it to her before saying, Mother, take it. You must buy a good one for us. Okay. Lin Ching, he dipped her head and promised them to buy it next time. I will go with you next time, Zhou De Wa quickly declared. Don't you need to go to school? And I can't take all three of you. Not possible. Lin Ching, he refused. Zhou De Wa said, but they can go. They are still small, while you are all grown up. Apart from your father, you are the biggest man in the family. Lin Qing, he held one of his hands. Zhou De Wa was slightly satisfied, so he didn't fuss with his mother. Mother, what shall we eat for lunch? Spring pancake. Lin Qing, he replied, go and see if your father has come back. Zhou De Wa headed out to check. Then he came back with his father. The water is scooped out for you, go wash and prepare to eat. Lin Qing, he directed to him. Seeing the fatigue between his eyebrows, Lin Qing, he was also a little bit distressed. But there was no other way. Making some delicious treats for him and keeping the house in order was also a kind of comfort. Naturally, it was needless to say how Lin Qing he's culinary skill was. She had finished making the spring pancakes, just needed to wash hands and eat them. Mother, this sauce is really delicious. Zhou De Wa uttered. Sweet and sour. Erwa also agreed. Yummy. This was Sanwa's evaluation. Lin Qing, he was also slightly satisfied. It was tomato sauce. She made it herself with tomatoes from the backyard. She made it last year. She had put it in her space and there was no problem. Taking it out now, it was still tasty. Is it not to your taste? Lin Qing, he turned to Zhou Qing Bai. It's delicious. Zhou Qing Bai glanced at her. In the food department, his wife didn't need him to cut in. I will make more chili sauce for you this year. You might not be used to eating this sweet and sour tomato sauce. Chili sauce is perfect for you. Lin Qing, he said. Okay. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. Go rest after eating. Lin Qing, he urged. It was indeed very tiring now that it was the spring plowing period. Even if Zhou Qing Bai was physically strenuous, after all the whole morning work, it was impossible to say it wasn't exhausting. So after he finished the spring pancake, he went to rest first. After all, he'll continue to work away in the afternoon. Chapter 110 Having steamed sponge cake, Zhou Qing Bai was resting next door, while Lin Qing, he was in the children's room. If she headed over, he would not rest at all and would accompany her. So she simply decided to not enter and not disturb him. Well done on this question. But there is a second way of solving the problem. Lin Qing, he gave the question and checked the results of De Wa's work again. Let me think. Zhou De Wa took it back and started to ponder on the second method. She had to say, this kid was smart, curious, and attentive. Not one bit afraid of being bold, but no to careful when he should be careful. After thinking about it for a while, 
he came up with it and then implemented it for his mother to see. Lin Qing, he was quite satisfied and said, now write an essay with the sun as the topic. Sun? Zhou Dewa paused and then nodded to say that he understood, what's the word count? Minimum of 300 characters, but you can write as much as you can. If you write more, I have a reward. Lin Qing, he challenged as she raised her eyebrows. What's the reward? Zhou Dewa asked. You can suggest what you want to eat and I'll do my best to make it for you. Lin Qing, he stated. I want to eat steamed red date sponge cake. Zhou Dewa declared. No problem. Lin Qing, he frankly responded to him, on the condition that what you can write meets my satisfaction. I'll have no problem. Zhou Dewa nodded. Just an essay, it wasn't like he hadn't written one. And this was not the first time he had written it. Lin Qing has said. Whenever you finished it for my examination and I think it passes, I will make it for you then. Zhou Dewa intended to finish it today. He didn't go out to play in the evening and stayed home to write his homework. Zhou Da and I and the girls came to ask him. Even though Zhou Dewa wanted to write his own piece, he was very magnanimous to these sisters and their onslaught of questions. Unless he went out to play and wasn't at home, he would usually explain to them. While teaching the girls, he wrote his own essay. Dewa, what are you writing? You wrote so much. Zhou Er and I asked him. Essay. Zhou Dewa replied. Essay? What is that? The girls didn't understand. This is an essay. Zhou Dewa pointed to what he wrote. Zhou De and I and other girls didn't recognize many words yet, so it was not clear. Zhou Dewa was not surprised and continued on his work. Dewa, what are you writing this for? Did your third grade teacher arrange this? Zhou De and I asked. No, my mother gave it to me. If I write it well, my mother promises to make me a red date sponge cake. Zhou Dewa answered. Sanwa, and I wants it too. Erwa interjected immediately. I want to eat sponge cake. Sanwa nodded. Then you'll have to thank me. If I can't write it, mother won't make it and you won't get to eat it, Zhou Dewa said. Even if you did write it and mother didn't make it, you wouldn't get to eat it. Erwa responded. You think mother is you. Mother keep her words. Zhou Dewa retorted. What's with all the chatter? Quickly write. Lin Qing, he came back from the outside carrying her basket. She went out to pick wild vegetables. When she came back, she heard the two brothers' arguments that almost evolve into a fist fight. Fourth aunt. Seeing her return, the girls greeted her. N. Lin Qing, he acknowledged and instructed Er Hua and San Hua, you brothers, come and help wash the wild vegetables. We're having it tonight. Fourth aunt, I'll wash it. Zhou De and I chipped in. No need. You guys need to do your homework. Lin Qing, he maintained, it's just a bit of wild vegetables. The two of them know how to wash it. Erwa nodded, my younger brother, and I can do it. So the two of them went to wash the wild vegetables, and it was extremely clean. They washed it one by one, as this was what they were going to eat. If it was cleaned properly, it'll be them who eat the sand. Lin Qing, he set aside tonight's dinner, and the rest was cooked for the pigs. At this period of time, they should be fed once. After getting fed one more time at nine o'clock, it will not be fed again. That was early in the morning's matter. Lin Qing, he cooked the pig food, scooped it to the pigs, fed the chickens while she was at it, and then came back to prepare the food. During this period, it was quite hectic, so Zhou Qingbai got off work pretty late. It was long after six o'clock when he returned home. The girls had also gone home. Lin Qing, he made shepherd's purse and pork dumplings. It was currently spring, the peak time to eat these wild vegetables. Let alone the freshness, it was also nutritious, which suitable for spring days. Shepherd's purse and pork dumplings were apparently tasty, as Zhou Qingbai ate to his content. 
he had been busy for the whole day, and being able to eat delectable meals every day when he came back, made the tiredness dissipate from between the poor speaker's brow. Zhou Qingbai went to clean the pigsty and chicken pen after eating. Lin Qing, he sent De Wa to wash the dishes and checked Zhou De Wa's handiwork. Even though he was only in the third grade of elementary school, this kid can write a 500-word essay. This piece of essay writing on the topic of the sun was very well written. It was looking at the sun from the perspective of elementary school students. Every morning when the sun rises, his father will go to work and he will head to school. When he returns home, the sun has gone down. This was the day beginning with the sun rising and ending with the sunset. However, this was just the beginning. Later, he wrote about the importance of Mr. Sun in the winter. In the winter without Mr. Sun, it was endless snow, and the people all hoped that winter would pass quickly, otherwise the family would run out of food. Then it switched to the overbearing trait of the hot summer sun. When everyone harvested in the summer, it was really hot. He lamented over this. It'll be great if winter and summer could be balanced together, that way it would be lukewarm. This piece was pretty good. The topic was the sun. But he didn't dive into a deeper level. For example, comparing the great leaders to the sun and that they are children who live happily under the sun's radiance and care. The last point was explained to De Wa by Lin Qing. He once he washed the dishes and listened to the feedback. Realization dawned on De Wa when he heard, I never thought of this. You're still young, you can think of it later if you ponder on it more. Lin Qing, he said. Then does that mean I passed? Zhou De Wa stared expectantly at his mother. There was some lacking, but overall it was great, so you pass. Lin Qing, he nodded. When Zhou Qing Bai came back, Lin Qing, he gave him instruction, tomorrow, cut some banana leaves when you come back. I will make some red date sponge cake for you, father and sons. No need to go through that much trouble. Zhou Qing Bai glanced at his eldest son. Zhou De Wa dared not to speak out. Er Wa was the same. Sen Wa didn't understand these things, he came over and hugged his father. He still liked his father very much. Today, De Wa performed well, while Er Wa and San Wa also washed the wild vegetables cleanly, so I decided to make them red date sponge cake. Lin Qing, he clarified. As soon as these words came out, Zhou De Wa and Zhou Er Wa had a pleased expression. Then I will bring some back tomorrow. Zhou Qingbang nodded. Banana leaves weren't rare things. When he got off to work at noon the next day, he cut some on the way back home. Chapter 111 Really know how to eat old fourth, why are you cut banana leaves for? Second brother. And third brother, just carried a basket of rice field eels. It wasn't much, like a few. After getting off work, the two of them went to check the basket they had set up yesterday. There was some harvest. Qing, he said she'll make a sponge cake. Zhou Qing Bai said. Oh, old fourth, you're living pretty well. Second brother couldn't help but envy. Sponge cake, he wanted to eat it too. The corner of Zhou Qing Bai's mouth slightly raised, if second brother wants some, ask second sister-in-law to make it for you. Your second sister-in-law lived prudently, so how could she possibly do that? Second brother responded. It's better to be a bit more frugal in life. Third brother said instead. It's just a little cake. Zhou Qingbai didn't mind much. It wasn't like the family can't afford to eat cakes. And also, he wanted to eat it too. His wife's culinary skill was excellent and the things she made were never bad. He separated from his two elder brothers after that. Second brother and third brother returned home and divided the eels equally. Dewa's mother really knows how to eat. Just now, we encountered Old Fourth cutting banana leaves and said that they are going to make sponge cake to eat. Third brother mentioned. Third sister-in-law didn't mind, what's wrong with this? It's just a cake. If you want to eat, I will make you one. Third brother shook his head with a smile. Forget it. 
This year, his wife was pregnant again and her months are getting big. By then, it'll be necessary to eat good meals during the postnatal confinement. Better to save a bit. Second brother didn't bring it up on his return because there was no point. In the evening, Lin Ching, he made a steamed red date sponge cake. The red dates were cut in half, pitted, and embellished on top of the sponge cake. The sponge cake was brown in color because brown sugar was added in. The sponge cake tasted really fluffy and soft, especially scrumptious. Lin Ching, he made a big one. She cut out a quarter and asked De Wa to give it his grandpa and grandma to respect them. It was after it was delivered, did other people in old Zhou's family knew that Fort's wife had made such a delicious cake. If you want to eat, ask your mother to make it for you. Don't come to grandpa and grandma. Grandpa and grandma don't have much. Mother Zhou waved her hands and sent away the group of grandchildren that had gathered over. Then the two of them ate by themselves. This was fourth family's filial piety to them. They mustn't divide it out, otherwise, it would be gaining favor with fourth's wife's thing. What would fourth's wife think then? Besides, even if the two of them eat up this cake, it's not going overboard at all. Second sister-in-law's son, Zhou Xia went home and demanded for one. Second sister-in-law was extremely irked, that family don't know when to stop. Every day she finds ways to make trouble for me. Second brother was puzzled, our son wants to eat sponge cake, so why are you bringing fourth's wife? If it weren't for her, what would my son be pestering? If she wants to send the cake, just send the cake. But Dewa had to shout all the way, fearing that others wouldn't know about it. Second sister-in-law lashed out. Second brother was already used to his wife's way of thinking. It wasn't like Dewa need to be sneaky when bringing something to honor his grandparents. Besides, apart from fourth family, the other three didn't give anything. No one would criticize who, so what was there to be angry about? I want to see, how long can she waste that little money? Second sister-in-law sneered. Second brother rolled his eyes, hurry up and make a cake. Your son is throwing a tantrum. Make what? Not making. There's no flour at home. Second sister-in-law uttered in displeasure. Second brother said nothing then. The last bit of flour seemed to be used for making dumplings. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law also didn't make one. Their family condition couldn't compare with fourth family's conditions. It was unreasonable to eat whatever that side comes up every time. Father Zhou was satisfied after finishing the red date sponge cake and saw Mother Zhou's melancholy look. What are you doing? Is the cake not delicious? Father Zhou said soberly. Delicious. Mother Zhou replied. Since it's delicious, why are you like that? Father Zhou said. Mother Zhou sighed softly. This cake was really scrumptious, but inside was brown sugar, white flour, and red dates. It was extremely luxurious. However, Mother Zhou had thought it through now. She won't talk about these things to Fourth's wife. Anyway, the money for the three grandsons' marriage would be saved by her and her old partner. In the future, it'll prevent her three grandsons being unable to marry a wife. Fourth's wife is taking care of old Fourth really well. Father Zhou stated honestly. At least in his opinion, the youngest son hadn't gotten thinner since he returned home. He was still as tall and strong as he was when in the force and looking very tough. None of the other three sons had the same spirit as the youngest son. Not to mention the other three sons, even the other men in the village did not match up either. Why was this? Well, wasn't it due to eating well at home? Mother Zhou didn't continue on and said, Last time Xiaomei passed on a message, she wants me to raise her child. What do you think, old man? Five yuans a month was quite a lot. Five yuans a month, so fifty yuans a year. Just looking after a few years, it'll a little saving. When De Wa and his brothers get married in the future, they'll see if they can gather up the four major gifts. In order for the few grandsons to marry their wife, Mother Zhou earned even her own daughter's money. 
It's good for you to stay at home. When you're free, you can gather some pigweed. How could Father Zhou not know what his wife thought? But he still answered. He was still able to move and can still get ten work points. So it was not a problem to support himself and his wife. Besides, every season, the sons below will show their filial. All right then, I'll go and tell the Wa's mother. Let her pass on to Xiaomei next time she goes to the city. Zhou Mu said. Don't criticize the Wa's mother. Father Zhou said to her. I know. Mother Zhou waved her hand and headed over to Lin Qingha. Mother has come. Have you eaten the cake with father? Lin Qing, he asked. I have. It's delicious. Mother Zhou smiled. Dewa and his brother were eating it. They were clearly enjoying it. Zhou Qingbai was also holding a piece in his hand. Mother came over to talk about Xiaomei's child, Mother Zhou said. Mother agree to? Lin Qing, he said, if yes, I will tell Xiaomei next time I go to the county city. And, you tell her that I can help her with it. Mother Zhou responded. Sister said to give you five yuans a month. It's only right to give the money. You did her a big favor, otherwise, she can't keep her job. Lin Qing, he stated. If no one takes care of the child, then she can only bring it up by herself, so her work must be dropped. Women who watched the children were not valuable, even if Su De Lin didn't look like that kind of person. Lin Qing, he felt that Mother Zhou's willingness to raise was a good thing. Zhou Xiaomei can continue to work. Women who have jobs were confident and highly looked upon. Mother Zhou grinned. Fourth's wife was a smooth talker. Mother Zhou was actually a little embarrassed about being paid, but from Fourth's wife's words, she was able to accept it with her heart at ease. I can't take care of the baby when it's still young. Once it's older, you can bring it over to my side if you have something to do, mother. I'll help with keeping a watch. Lin Qing, he said. Chapter 112 Family Ruin All Right Mother Zhou smiled and agreed. No wonder Xiaomei was close to her fourth sister-in-law. She treated her very well. Otherwise, with fourth's wife's personality, she won't necessarily bother to mention so much, let alone taking care of the child. Mother Zhou didn't remain any longer and returned. Mother, when are you going to buy me football? Dewa asked as he ate the cake. After a while, Lin Qing, he replied. Once she saved more pork, she would then go to the county city to sell it. Zhou Qingbai kept silent. He never asked about his household affairs, it was all left to his wife. The house was his wife's world. Even he had to obey his wife. The days passed one by one. It went really fast. Soon March was over and entered into April. At the end of the year, they were busy all year round except during the end of the year, where they can be idle in winter isolation. Zhou Qingbai was occupied, but no matter how he busy was, he would still catch some eel and loach from time to time. Lin Qing, he would cook it for him. Stewed loach with tofu, braised eel, and the rest were all delectable and nutritious. While the promised football for De Wa was bought by Lin Qing, he in her following trip to sell the pork. As soon as De Wa arrived home, he saw that Er Wa and San Wa playing football and screeched out in happiness. He dropped his school bag and went to play football. The children in the village were extremely envious and then flocked over to join. De Wa had no objection and they played together. Of course, they had to have a good relation with him. If they didn't or was unfamiliar, they can stand at one side and not participate. Such a new football was bought, had those half-grown boys envious when they saw it. Zhou Dewa's mother was indeed the best mother in the village. It was enough that she made all kinds of nice things for Dewa and his brothers to eat, but now she even bought such an expensive thing like a football. Was there a better mother than this? That was how the children in the village thought, however, the adults shook their heads. Ching Bai's wife was really worthy of being the number one family ruiner wife in the village, who doesn't know how to manage a family. What fun was there in kicking a football? 
Not only it cost a lot of money, but this was also toys for city kids. What need was there to buy this, for kids in the countryside, to play? She really didn't know how to live life. According to those who saw it in the mall, this football cost more than 20 yuan. My god, how much money was received from working in the field all year round. It wasn't easy for Zhou Qingbai to support the family with 10 work points. The family also had a terrible wife in charge, meaning he could forget about having a penny left. Wang Ling from the village asked second sister-in-law, didn't you say that she has no money? If she got none, how can she buy a football for her son to play? That one costs more than 20 yuan. Who doesn't know that she wants pride so much even if it meant suffering? It must be because she doesn't want to let outsiders know that she has no money, so she's stretching it. Second sister-in-law didn't want to believe that Lin Qing, he still had money, so she could only explain it like this. But Wang Ling didn't believe it, wasn't it said that wanted to eat sponge cake a while ago? I heard that it was also very tasty. Maybe your fourth brother-in-law brought back so much money on his retirement, otherwise, how could she spend it like this? Impossible. I heard people say that she went to borrow money from her maternal family. There's no mistake. Second sister-in-law stated. So what? It must be because your fourth brother-in-law brought the money back and she didn't want her maternal family to benefit, so she deliberately went to find something to make trouble with her maternal family. Wang Ling snorted. Gotta say, Wang Ling actually hit the bull's eye. Second sister-in-law turned her nose up, you don't know how much she valued her maternal family in the past. She couldn't deliberately find faults. I remember one time my fourth brother-in-law sent back a brand new army coat and she took it back to her maternal family. Mentioning this, second sister-in-law gritted her teeth. It was very cold that year. Her family lacked a quilt. In fact, she just wanted to borrow to cover a bit, but Lin Qing, he gave no leeway and simply refused. Then she took it back to her maternal family. Her mother-in-law had nagging about it, however, that unfilial Lin Qing, he didn't care at all. Wang Ling was also talking nonsense before, so at these words, she just curled her lips and didn't continue. I really sympathize with you. You both married into the Zhou family and why do you live like this? You have to enter the field and earn work points even when you have a big belly, while she doesn't need to do anything. Wang Ling said. At the mention of this, second sister-in-law was oozing blood, she replied, I don't have her kind of fortune, what can I do? But having said that, why she hasn't been pregnant for so long? Her youngest son is two years old this year, right? Wang Ling said. I don't know. Second sister-in-law was not interested in this and thought how she wished for Lin Qing, he, to be unable to give birth. This woman's life was too fortunate. It was enough that she was able to marry a man like fourth brother, but her stomach was also full of capability. Three in a row were all sons. Do you think she is infertile? Wang Ling asked. Second sister-in-law waved her hand, she already birthed three sons, do you think she's infertile? Wang Ling choked. About birthing son, no one in the whole village could not match Lin Qing, he, on this. Only few could birth three sons, continuously. Quickly cut it. I'm heading back to rest after handing in the task. This day is getting hotter and hotter, urged second sister-in-law. She and Wang Ling waste cutting pigweed. Wang Ling didn't say anything and cut the pigweed seriously. The perpetrator of the football incident, Lin Qing, he, was also cutting the pigweed. After getting pigweed, she dug a handful of wild vegetables. These were for the salad for lunch. At noon, eating bean flour mantu with fried meat with wild vegetables and a poached egg was enough. Although her family's diet was number one in the village, Lin Qing, he often made some staple meals with coarse grains added in. Bean flour mantu and cornmeal mantu were often eaten at home. The rest was wild vegetables. The fruits and vegetables grown in the backyard were also often eaten at home. The boys in the family had sturdy teeth. They basically ate whatever she made and wasn't picky. 
Of course, this was also due to Lin Qing, he not having to work, otherwise she would have no mood to make tasty food and just casually eat whatever. Lunch, they had been flour mantu with poached eggs and fried meat with wild vegetables. Zhou Qingbai brought up the matter of going to buy fertilizer tomorrow. All these things were entrusted to him by the team. Will you come back for lunch tomorrow? Lin Qing, he asked. No. Zhou Qingbai will return home in the evening tomorrow. The next morning, after Lin Qing, he had made breakfast, she went to get him food and meat coupons and money, remember to eat well outside. You don't need to save this money. Okay. Zhou Qingbai smiled. Zhou Qingbai worked away, while Lin Qing, he studied and memorized the text at home. She thought that Zhou Qingbai was simply going to buy pesticides, but in fact, Zhou Qingbai didn't simply return after getting pesticides. He came over to the Public Security Bureau to find his old comrade. Chapter 113 Chai Pocket When Zhou Qingbai came back, he brought a gold necklace, a gold finger, a pair of gold earrings, and a pair of gold bracelets to his daughter-in-law. In addition, a piece of jade that can be kept for admiration. At this time all these old things can't be revealed. Zhou Qingbai could only get these because his old comrade was in the Public Security Bureau, otherwise, let alone getting them, Zhou Qingbai himself might possibly get reported. Once these things arrived home, he gave it to his wife. As expected, Lin Qing, he was surprised. She was completely shocked, still. She never thought an old-fashioned man like her man would bring such things back to her to please her. Don't show it outside. Probably due to the excess surprise in his wife's eyes, Zhou Qingbai coughed and uttered stiffly. Lin Qing, he put it away. The children were still young. She couldn't let the children see it and leaked it out. Last time you listened and kept it in mind? Lin Qing, he took in to put in a safe place when actually she placed it into the space. She said to Zhou Qingbai. Zhou Qingbai had never been able to express affection, but Lin Qing, he understood. She smilingly glanced at him. Really this man. If it wasn't her, which woman can understand his withdrawn personality? I was just saying. Don't take any more risks. Lin Qing, he came over to hug his waist and pressed her face against his chest. As she listened to his strong heartbeat, she stated. Zhou Qingbai uttered an acknowledgement. Lin Qing, he asked, what did you eat out for lunch? Were you full? Dumplings. Not as delicious as your one. Zhou Qingbai replied. This wasn't flattery. He had eaten so much of his wife's cooking he became completely unaccustomed to the food outside. It was a big gap from his wife's. Lin Qing, he giggled and said, today, we're having chai pocket with millet porridge. T slash N, chai pocket looks like a pan-fried calzone with only chive inside. All right. Zhou Qingbang nodded. Lin Qing, he let him rest first. After all, he went out for the whole day. She began to cook millet porridge, and at the same time, she made the dough. It was needless to be said how Lin Qing he skills were, especially after transmigration. It had grown rapidly. There was no other way, there were three boys in the family waiting to be fed as well as a man who depended on her. So how can she not cook the food well? After the millet porridge was cooked and scooped out. Lin Qing, he scrubbed the pot and came to the backyard to cut the chives. She washed it, cut it into small pieces, and fried it. Once it was placed into a plate, a few eggs were scrambled. The chives and eggs were then fried together with salt added in. Afterward, it was scooped out to be used. Then she wrapped the scrambled eggs and chives in the rolled-out doughs. Oil was poured into the pan and the chai pocket was placed in to fry until golden on both sides. The smell inside spread out. Dewa hadn't come back from school yet, while Erwa and Sanwa went out to play. Especially Sanwa, his naughtiness degree was comparable to his eldest brother when he was younger. However, Lin Qing, he didn't restrain him much. She only forbid him from going near the river. If he went there, he had to be accompanied by her. 
Otherwise, if she found he secretly entered the water, she would stop the snack for seven days. Once Dewa was disobedient and was found out by Lin Qing, he, she didn't give him snacks for seven days afterward. Even until now, it was deeply imprinted into Dewa. His younger brothers had watermelon to eat, he didn't. His younger brothers had sweets to eat, he didn't. His younger brothers can also eat deep-fried fish jerky, he didn't. During those seven days, his mother prepared a variety of tasty things, but he had no shares. There was no punishment more worse than this. Even though Erwa and Sanwa were young, they took it as a warning. They absolutely shouldn't learn from their eldest brother and be punished in this way. Lin Qing, he had managed her time. When Dewa came back from school, Lin Qing, he's chai pocket, was almost done. Mother, it smells so good. Is it chai pockets? Dewa's eyes shone. Yes. Go and call Er Hua and Sanwa back. It's dinner time. Lin Qing, he said. So early? Dewa couldn't help utter. It is early, but there are some barley and red bean sweet soup for later. Lin Qing, he responded. I'm going to call them back now. In response to that, Dewa immediately went out to call his two younger brothers. Both Erwa and Sanwa covered dirty all over from playing. On return, they went to clean their face and hands under Lin Qing, he's glare. If you come so dirty again next time, see if I'll deal with you. Lin Qing, he nagged, while washing. It's all Sanwa's fault. He doesn't know how to play with glass marbles and got me to teach him, Erwa exclaimed. You don't know either. Not accurate at all. Sanwa mocked him. Then don't ask me to be in the same team as you next time, Erwa shot back. Fine then, I'll pair with Hozi. Sanwa responded. This kid had been particularly talkative since he can speak, and it wasn't inferior when arguing with his two brothers. What are you fighting for? Wash your hands cleanly at once. If it's not clean, you're not allowed to eat. Lin Qing, he stated. Mother, father hasn't come back yet. Zhou Dewa finally recalled. Your father is back already and resting in the room. I'm going in to see if he's awake. You supervised them on their handwashing. Lin Qing, he replied and went in. As soon as she came in, she met at Zhou Qing Bai's gaze. You woke up. I thought you were sleeping. Since you're awake, come out to eat. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai had long been awake. Listening to her conversations with the children outside, his heart was filled with warmth. He was very grateful to her for giving him this family. Zhou Qing Bai's hand reached out toward Lin Qing He. Lin Qing, he held on and then got pulled by him. She fell directly into his embrace. What are you doing? They can come in at any time. Lin Qing, he said timidly. Wife, let's have a baby girl. Zhou Qing Bai sniffed the fragrance of her hair and stated. Lin Qing, he was feeling. This topic hadn't been mentioned for a while, so why he bring it up again? If I get pregnant, then we will have the baby. Lin Qing, he said with a dry smile. N. Zhou Qing Bai nodded and kissed her necks. I didn't see anything. Emerging at the door at an unknown time, Er Wa covered his eyes with a large gap between his finger and declared. Lin Qing, he scrambled off Zhou Qing Bai and coughed dryly. Er Wa, you didn't knock on the door before you came in. That's not it. The door wasn't closed. Zhou Er Wa replied. Father, mother, quickly come out and eat. The chai pocket aren't as good when they are cold. Zhou Dewa shouted from outside. So Zhou Qing Bai led Lin Qing he out to eat. Erwa giggled with mirth. The whole family ate the chai pocket together. It was eaten with millet porridge. Just chai pocket by itself was a bit boring, so it was just perfect with millet porridge. Must say, the chai pocket made by Lin Qing, he was too scrumptious. The main reason was due to her willingness to pour oil, so the fried chai pocket was especially flavorful. 
However, Sanwa was still too young to eat too many chives, so she let him eat too and finish off with the millet porridge. She didn't restrict the wa and erwa at all. They weren't little now, so they could eat more. Chapter 114 Selling food after eating the chai pocket and the millet porridge, Dewa cleaned up the bowl and chopsticks. Erwa and Sanwa were playing at the entrance. Lin Qing, he returned back to the room. Zhou Qingbai went to the village secretary's house. Mother, I'm done with the bowls. The pot too. Zhou Dewa said. Then go do your homework. The red bean and barley sweet soup were done in the afternoon. We'll set aside for now. How could Lin Qing he not know what he meant and she replied. With this, Zhou Dewa went to do his homework. Lin Qing he took out the gold jewelry and jade that Zhou Qing Bai brought to her. Whether it was the gold jewelry or jade, it was all top quality things. But this kind of thing wasn't as valuable as one white flower mantu in this era. Not only was it worthless, anyone who dared to take it out will be criticized. However, Lin Qing, he had an idea when looking at these things. But this idea had to wait until this summer harvest is over first. At that time, there will be surplus grain to do something else. Lin Qing, he placed all these things into the space. As well as the stamps that she had bought before. Each and every one of them. She can keep for when the value increases in the future, no? Lin Qing, he counted the things in the space again. The fruits were all used up. The buns were also used up in the past few days. Half of the flour and rice were left. Almost half of the soy, vinegar, oil, salt, rock sugar, and brown sugar was also left. The consumption of pork and eggs was relatively large. It was reduced to only one-third of the original amount, so not much. It seems that she has to be a little more frugal later. But the money was more than before. Even if they bought a big piece like a bike, there was still excessive money. After all, her monthly pork sale earned more than Su Dalin's salary. Naturally, it won't decrease much. At around 7 o'clock, Lin Qing, he scooped red bean and barley sweet soup for the boys. Children can't eat too much. Each was given a bowl. Lin Qing, he also had one bowl. The remaining two bowls were all for Zhou Qingbai to finish. In the evening, in order to achieve his wish for a daughter, Zhou Qingbai, who had eaten chive, was very energetic. Now that the weather was warmer, the three sons went to sleep next door. So it was no problem if they created some noise. One can imagine how satisfied Zhou Qingbai was. Of course, Lin Qing, he also enjoyed it. This time ticked and they entered into June. The weather in June was really starting to heat up. Day by day, it became even more roasting. What's more, at end of this month was the summer harvest days. These days were too blazing. It also suddenly rained. Lightning flashed and thunder rumbled. It was quite heavy. If it keeps going like this, the village branch secretary and the leader would cry anxiously. Dewa looked at the heavy rain outside and maturely said with a sigh, despite his young age. Lin Qing, he swept him a glance, this is nothing. June's weather is said to temperamental. By tomorrow, it'll be clear. Apparently, this time it didn't clear up. After showering for seven days straight, there was no sign of stopping. Not to mention the leader and village branch secretary, the whole production team was in a panic. But it was still that phrase, June's weather is said to be temperamental. After the heavy rain that night, it cleared up the next morning. The sky after the rain was especially bright and the sun after the rain was also extremely hot. But the whole production team didn't care whether it was hot or not, they were all relieved. Then they quickly began to prepare for the summer harvest. Lin Qing, he paid no heed to the summer harvest. She swiftly burned wormwood leaves when the rain stopped and smoked the house inside out. The main focus was on the pigsty and chicken pen. Not only wormwood leaves were burnt, lime powder for disinfection was also sprinkled. Hygienic environment must be taken seriously. 
A few days after it cleared up, the village sounded the summer harvest horn. At this time, the weather was really poisonously hot, especially after this heavy rain. Many women in the village with poor health suffered from heat stroke. Two of them came over to her house to seek medicine. Lin Ching, he estimated, and set aside some supplies for themselves. These can't be given to anyone, only prepared for her family. As for the rest, it can be distributed out. As long as the other person was good and came knocking, she gave it. She also didn't accept the money. Like this, it washed her image white and people said that she was actually very good. However, Lin Qing, he wasn't pleased with these comments. Don't label her as a good person. With this label, she'll be treated as a good person in this life. T slash N, I assume it also means people think she's easy to take advantage of? So when someone came later, she simply said none left and the rest had been divided out. So there was another saying, if one had a bad relationship with her, she would not give them a wisp. No matter what the outsiders said, Lin Qing, he didn't care at all. Three days into the summer harvest, she killed one of the two extra chickens raised at home. She simply placed in red dates and goji berry to stew. The whole family needed to be nourished. The remaining chicken was killed and stewed after the summer harvest. After one summer harvest, despite being tired, their spirit was still in good condition. After all, Lin Qing, he handled the three meals a day sufficiently. Even if he was tired, he didn't lose his vitality. After the summer harvest, the food was distributed. With Zhou Qing Bai there, there was definitely a lot of food distributed to their family. Lin Qing, he also exchanged the settlement money for a share of food. Toward her request for more food, the team said nothing. After all, everyone knew that she doesn't know how to live well and came up with various delectable treats. Especially when it heard that cornmeal was also used to feed the pigs. That was indeed a big consumption. So it was fine to exchange for more food. Zhou Qingbai knew about it. After the grain truck had brought all the grains home, he then asked her with his eyes. Cough, I know an old lady in the city. The conditions at her home aren't great. Often eat one meal and starve for two. However, her daughter-in-law works in a textile factory. I want to exchange some rags back to make more shoes for you guys. Especially you and Dewa. Your shoes use up so much. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai's eyes were soft and he responded, You have worked hard. It's nothing. Probably owe you from my previous life. Lin Qing, he waved her hand and said with resignation. Zhou Qing Bai chuckled. Lin Qing, he began her food selling business. In fact, this time there wasn't much food to sell. She bought an extra 300 gene of corn kernels and slightly over 50 gene of wheat. However, she did buy a lot of sweet potatoes, potatoes, various beans, peanuts, sesame seeds, and the likes. These things moved into her space bit by bit several times, so it can be transported to the city to dispose it. The price of food without food stamps was a little higher and it was particularly convenient to get rid of. Lin Qing, he was already a veteran of this. Money, goods, transaction done. Especially efficient. These harvested grains were almost doubled in price, meaning a profit of nearly 70 yuans. From that, the wheat was the most profitable. Her amount was too little, otherwise, she can earn more. Chapter 115 Hard to handle the wa, however, 70 yuans was good. 70 yuans wasn't a small sum. And this was just the food. There was pork. This time the income was at least 100 yuans. When entering the county city to get rid of the stock, she brought along Erwa and Sanwa. After she returned from her sale, the two of them were sitting beside her bicycle. Their eyeballs were wandering around. At first glance, they didn't appear obedient, but still, they behaved, didn't randomly stroll away, and sat there waiting for their mother. As soon as they saw Lin Qinghe, their eyes lit up. Mother. Sanwa stepped forward to hug his mother's thigh. Have you obediently waited for mother's return? 
Lin Qing, he asked. Yes, we did keep waiting here. Erwa said. Sanwa nodded and requested, Mother, buy me a candied ha stick. Didn't you just eat a popsicle? Lin Qing, he said. A cream popsicle was eight cents. She bought two and gave them one for each. I still want to eat. Sanwa started to act spoiled. I'll buy one for you. However, we're taking it home and share it with me, your father. And your elder brother. Lin Qing, he said. Okay. Erwa nodded happily. Sanwa hesitated. Feeling that he should share with his father and his brother, he nodded. Lin Qing, he took them around for a while. The sugar at home was almost gone. She bought another gene of sugar. As for the others, there was no need. Of course, she also bought a can of milk powder. The boys can drink it. As for the rest, there was no need. She bought a candied ha stick, which was wrapped in oil paper. Then they went home. When they got home, the brothers pestered for the candied ha and Lin Qing, he complied. Each got one piece, so three was left. Once Zhou Qingbai came back from work at noon and De Hua got back from the pigweed gathering after school, Lin Qing he took out the candied haws and ate it with them. They each devoured one. It had Er Hua and San Hua drooling. Mother. San Hua wanted to hoodwink. It's useless for you to cry. Each ate one, now it's gone. Lin Qing, he said. San Hua withdrew his teary face at once. Will you wait for your father and your elder brother the next time and not have the treat on your own? Lin Qing, he asked. Er Hua and San Hua expressed they'll wait and won't eat alone anymore, otherwise, they would have no more to eat and wanted to cry. Lin Qing, he displayed her satisfaction, and then gathered them for dinner. Zhou Qing Bai never cut in on her when she educates her children. This old-fashioned man had always pursued the belief of male outside, woman inside. Everything within the house was her say. Lin Qing, he, was actually content with this clear division of labor. After all, this was his recognition of her. Who did you buy those two chicks from? Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Qing Bai. Dillage branch secretary. Zhou Qing Bai's eyes were gentle. Their family was raising three hens that lay eggs. Now there were two chicks. The last two were raised after the spring and have already been slaughtered this summer to stew for the father and sons to eat. Now they brought two chicks back to raise from July to October. More than three months was enough for the chicks to grow up. At that time, they can be slaughtered and used to nourish the father and sons. There was no other way. In this era, the resources were too scarce and must work endlessly each day. Only chicken and fish can supplement the body. There was basically nothing else to eat. And only her, who came from the future and transmigrated over, would be so extravagant. Once one goes out to the village and check, no family had a diet like hers. The main reason for this was that Lin Qing, he was worried about eating badly, would reduce Zhou Qing Bai's vitality, which was hard to make up for. So she didn't care what was said about her outside. Three meals a day at home must be top-notch. For lunch was pork ribs stewed with seaweed, a scrambled egg with cucumber, and tomato soup with bean flour mantu. Even though the three dishes were very simple, the nutrition was still sufficient. In the evening, go see if there's any loach or eel. After lunch, Lin Qing, he said to Zhou Qing Bai. All right. Zhou Qing Bai agreed. In the evening, Zhou Qingbai got off work and he went to catch the loach. Approximately half a barrel of loach was caught and two ricefield eels were captured as well. One looked about 250-300 g. It was only at this time. If it was later, it would be very rare to get such a big wild eel. Once these were brought home, Lin Qing, he was pleasantly surprised. The loach was left in the water, to spit mud and will be stewed with tofu tomorrow. As for the two eels, they will cook it tonight. She got Zhou Qing Bai to go kill it. Lin Qing, he went to the backyard to pull onions. 
Lin Ching, he liked to eat braised eel meat. Although it was just two, it wasn't small. It was enough for the whole family. In the evening, it was a braised eel meat and a tomato and egg soup. The father and sons each got a poached egg. The main was cornmeal mantu. After dinner, there was green mung bean soup in the well water. It had a bit of rock sugar, so only a tinge of sweetness. Needless to mention how good the taste was. It was set aside to consume at seven o'clock. Dewa, are you going to have exams? Lin Ching, he asked Dewa. It was the summer harvest a while ago and the school uniformly took a break. During this period, it still continued. It had to be said that there wasn't much importance placed on education during this time. The school system was very loose. Exam is on the day after tomorrow. The day after that, the holiday begins. Zhou Dewa replied. Do your best. Lin Qing, he nodded. Mother, it's summer vacation. Take me to the county city to play as well? You always take Erwa and Sanwa, but haven't taken me there yet. Zhou Dewa said. All right, I'll bring you next time. Of course, if you don't get a good grade this time, then don't think about it. Lin Qing, he responded. Zhou Dewa's eyes lit up. I promise to definitely complete the task. Lin Qing, he continued to sew the sols. Zhou Qingbai was fanning her. Lin Qing, he sat for a while and said, Our home's hygiene is so good, we still have so many mosquitoes. There were a lot of mosquitoes and their bite was fierce. Mother, I was bitten. Put some oil on me. Sanwa said. Lin Qing, he went in, took the oil out, and smeared it on him. I also want some. Er Wa stretched out his arms and legs. Lin Qing, he also rubbed it on him. This oil was brought over by her. It was very effective and have a mosquito repellent effect. Do you want some, Da Wa? Lin Qing, he smeared it on Zhou Qing Bai at once and then asked Da Wa. For your man, you simply put it on. For me, you ask if I want it. You really don't want to use it on me. Da Wa sighed and muttered. He he. Erwa giggled. Sanwa laughed as well. Zhou Qing Bai's gaze, directed at his wife, was soft. Lin Qing, he was a bit embarrassed. She didn't give special treatment. It was De Hua, the stinky boy, becoming harder to deal with as he got older. Chapter 116 Considerate man under the summer stars, the whole family was quite happy at this time, despite the relatively poor days. Whether it was Zhou Qing Bai or the boys. Even though their growth increased with age, these brothers were getting harder and harder to fool. But overall, Lin Qing, he was quite satisfied with her current life now. Seeing that it was almost time, Lin Qing, he got up to serve mung bean soup. The sticky green mung bean soup with a slightly sweet taste was the boy's favorite. Lin Qing, he basically cooked a pot every day during this blazing summer. A pot wasn't a lot, enough for one bowl per person. It was still satisfying to drink. When sleeping at night, Lin Qing, he put down the mosquito nets for the boys. It was a bit stuffy to sleep under a mosquito net. There was no other choice, it was better than being the mosquito's birthday present. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai also put down their mosquito nets. It was fine in the winter, Zhou Qing Bai was like a big stove in the winter. Lin Qing, he especially liked to sleep with him. However, Lin Qing, he couldn't stand it this summer weather. She longed to stay away from Zhou Qing Bai. But Zhou Qing Bai was not pleased with sleeping on one side each. Lin Qing, he found that this man was a tough guy on the outside. He was very quiet and could do everything, but privately he clung to her. For example, when sleeping. She was not used to pillow arm, but he liked it very much. It was useless to just like it. Lin Qing, he was so uncomfortable sleeping like that. Everyone sleeping on their own was so much better. Hot. Lin Qing, he uttered when she felt him moving closer. Then Zhou Qing Bai fanned her but still persisted on huddling together with her. 
wife, when the situation outside is stable, I will take you out for a trip. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he was a little sleepy, and mumbled back, that's still a long way. Right now, it was the year 71. Have to wait until 77 when the college entrance examination will resume. There were still seven years. Seven years, ah, how many daylilies will become cold? Zhou Qingbai didn't respond and continued to fan her. While Lin Qing, he became spirited and said, Qingbai, can you get a letter of introduction or the like to enter the capital? You want to go to the capital? Zhou Qingbai raised his eyebrows at her. I want to have a look. Lin Qing, his eyes spun and replied. Currently in the capital, who knows how many good things were treated as broken trash. She wanted to go over to see if she can pick up the leaked out stuff and keep it, so she can make a fortune in the future? I will check this year. Zhou Qingbai said. Hearing this, Lin Qing he was ecstatic and hugged her family Qingbai, exclaimed, Qingbai, you're the best. By saying check, it meant he agreed. She knew her own man. Zhou Qingbai laughed, how will you repay me? Between us couple, still have to repay? Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qingbai stared at her. How could Lin Qing he not know what he meant, uttered an embarrassment, aren't you tired? Not tired. Zhou Qingbai replied quite readily. Since he wasn't tired, then let's do it. That night's posture had changed from the past. As if a new window opened, Zhou Qingbai saw a whole new world. Later, Lin Qinghe's evaluation of herself was, no do, no die. Why didn't she something else? Why did she have to unlock the new posture for this kind of thing? Now she did it. Once he mastered this one, it was easy to grasp the rest. Sometimes there will be bruises on both knees. As for what was done, it cannot be described. That day Lin Qing, he took all three brothers to the county city. San W. sat in the specially made child seat in the front. Both De Wa and Er Wa sat down at the back. Even so, it had Lin Qing, he sapped when bringing the three brothers to the county city. There were a good few big slopes on the way over. She had to make De Wa and Er Wa get off to go uphill and then continued. When they reached the county city, she bought an ice cream bar for each of them. It was the same role, let them wait. What is mother doing? Zhou Dewa asked as he ate the delicious ice cream. I don't know. Erwa shook his head. He and Sanwa were used to it. Wait for mother. Sanwa stated. Judging by their look, Zhou Dewa didn't ask any more, since they don't know even if he persisted. Because she got a space, Lin Qing, he got away safe and sound when getting checked twice since she began selling pork. Because there was nothing during the inspection, naturally there was nothing to say. However, this also made Lin Qing, he deeply aware of the rules of this era, so she acted in a very low-key manner and didn't dare to say anything. She agreed with her family Qing Bai, once something happened, she will terminate her business. How can that do? She finally found such a way to make money after much difficulty. Don't underestimate her two or three times a month trip to County City, but the money earned by the pork she sold was higher than the average worker's salary. If she came across meat coupon, she would accept it. If not, she would raise the price by a little bit more. Lin Qing, he specifically targeted the old lady segment. The kind of old lady who had experienced big winds and waves and generally won't seek trouble. The most important thing was that there must be grandchildren at home. At this time, how much meat will be in demand? Even if it was leftover, it was treasured. They want to keep it for their little grandson and granddaughter, so why would any of them bother to cause trouble? Might even get implicated themselves. It took half an hour for Lin Qing, he, to get rid of her pork. When she returned to look for the boys, she found Su De Lin pushing his bicycle and was accompanying the boys. 4. Fourth Sister-in-Law Su De Lin was relieved when Lin Qing, he came back. He had just passed by and saw his wife's nephews, so he stopped and waited. Is brother-in-law passing by? 
Lin Qing, he understood at a glance and smiled. Pass, passing by. Suda Lin grinned. You just ate popsicles and still asked your uncle to buy more for you? Lin Qing, he shot a glare at the boys. It's nothing, just, just a few pop, popsicles. Suda Lin interjected quickly. Did you thank your uncle? Lin Qing, he said. We did. Leading his younger brothers, Zhou Dewa answered at once. Lin Qing, he chatted a bit with Su De Lin. Zhou Xiaomei was further along on her pregnancy now. Counting the months, she was over seven months. Pretty far along, just like third sister-in-law. After a few exchanges, Su De Lin went back. Only then, Lin Qing he swept her gaze to the boys, do you know where you were wrong? We never thought of getting popsicles from uncle. He bought them at his own will and we would waste them if we didn't eat it, said Erwa. There won't be next time, I promise. Zhou Dewa readily declared. Not tasty. This was Sanwa's evaluation. Lin Qing, he harumphed and questioned them, what if other people give you the yummy popsicles? Will you accept? How is that possible? Zhou Dewa responded instantly. That's right. Don't know even know them. Not going to casually eat other people's food, Erwa said as well. Not eating, stated Sanwa. Only then, Lin Qing he dropped the matter. Chapter 117 Looking forward to the college entrance exam continuation after letting go of Su De Lin's matter, Lin Qing, he took the brothers around the county city. The brothers continued to make requests. Lin Qing, he coldly smiled, initially, I wanted to give you each a candied ha, but now it's gone. We all know our wrong. Dewa said. So what about it? Even if you know you're in the wrong, the mistake had already been made. Lin Qing, he showed no mercy. Mother, since it's a rare chance to come to the city once, buy one for us. Erwa added. I know my wrong. Sanwa also directed a pleading look to their mother. Lin Qing, he took in the three's behavior and didn't act too harshly. She said, I can give each of you one, but you can't eat it now. We'll take it home and keep it for tomorrow. Mother. Once the three stinky boys uttered mother, Lin Qing, he interjected, want it or not? Want. What else can they say, it was better to keep it for tomorrow than not having any. Remember, ah. Uh, since it's your first offense, so I will be lenient with you. However, if you commit a second offense, you'll know then. Lin Qing, he bought three candied ha sticks wrapped in oil paper and harumphed. Dewa, Erwa and San Wan nodded their heads, indicating that they would definitely not casually eat other people's stuff in the future. They knew their mother's punishment method, simply too cruel. She purposely cooked delicious stuff to have them drooling. They were scared of her. Especially since she had the final say at home, even their father dared not revolt against her. After buying the candied haws, Lin Qing, he brought them along for children's book shopping. Dewa requested a revision book, but the revision book at this time was too simple. So they didn't get any. Instead, they came to the waste section and bought a stack of old newspapers. These were all brought back for the kids' doodle. It was very cheap and a few dimes bought a large bundle. In addition, Lin Qing, he also bought a watermelon. There was nothing better than eating one in this hot summer. Only then she took the three boys home. After arriving home, Lin Qing, he was completely sapped. These three brothers weren't light at all, they'd been raised too well by her. The candied haws were stored away, as she won't give it today as she had said eat it tomorrow. For watermelon, she used the cool well water to chill it and leave as a snack for after lunch. Because of exhaustion, Lin Qing, he steamed a pot of steamed buns for lunch, which was served with a plate of fried green pepper and meat. A pot of tomato and egg soup too. However, because her family's man was doing manual labor in the field and that her three boys got a good appetite, the amount of meat in the plate of fried green pepper and meat was quite hefty. It was pork belly, very delectable from all the frying. The green pepper was also delicious. 
Eat more meat. You have been working in the field for the whole day. Lin Qing, he placed it into Zhou Qing Bai's bowl. This man kept on munching green peppers while refraining from meat as much as possible. How could she not know what he thinks, wanted to leave it for her and the children? Zhou Qingbai smiled faintly, you eat more too. I don't need you to tell me, I will eat. Lin Qing, he picked a few pieces of oily pork belly for him. At this time, due to the scarcity of oil content, fatty meat was labeled as first-class meat. Sister Mei will sometimes get some. However, every time there was quality fatty meat, pork belly, and lean meat, she will keep it for her own family to eat. Other scraps will be sold. Lin Qing, he doesn't eat it much, but Zhou Qing Bai needed to consume some. Meat was indispensable, to such a sturdy man, or else his body can't bear the strain of the daily numerous works. Yummy? Lin Qing, he looked at the three sons. De Wa had his lips covered in oil and responded, If only mother can dote me like you did with father. Just put a piece of meat in my bowl and gently say, Come, eat more. He he. Erwa giggled. Mother. Sanwa also laughed and then pushed his bowl over. None of you are acting seriously. Eat your stuff. Lin Qing, he remarked in displeasure. Stinky boys, dare to tease her now. Besides, what was wrong with her doting her man? He worked so hard, it was only right to favor him. Don't worry about them. They can still grow up by eating grass. It's enough that you eat more. Lin Qing, he uprightly favored her man. De Wa and Er Wa held an extreme misery. Not eating grass, not eating. Sam Wa rapidly shook his head. Zhou Qing Bai's gaze toward his wife was especially soft. Although lunch was simple, lunch containing meat and eggs was already luxurious in this era. After lunch, they rested. The boys were pining on the watermelon. Lin Qing, he didn't stop them. Eat it if they wanted to, but they can only have it 40 minutes after the meal. Zhou Qingbai had already drowsed off. The boys had finished eating, so they went to sleep in content. There was a larger half left over. Lin Qing, he didn't nap. She was sewing the sols, which was for Erwa. When Zhou Qingbai woke up, he saw his wife was sitting at the door and sewing the shoes. His gaze was extremely gentle. Didn't go to sleep? Zhou Qing Bai came over and asked. It's fine. I haven't done much during the day, so I don't have to sleep. Lin Qing, he replied, there are watermelons in the kitchen. Go and eat it. Zhou Qing Bai went in and grabbed the watermelon to snack on. He brought out cut out pieces. Lin Qing, he said, I have eaten it, you can eat it. Zhou Qing Bai had cut a share for her. Seeing his firm attitude, Lin Qing, he then accepted and ate it. She stated, this watermelon is good for cooling off. You eat more. No need to leave it for those three naughty children. Just before going to bed, they had it. It's fine to set it aside. Zhou Qing Bai said. He only ate the piece in his hand and didn't have any more. Although this man wasn't one to say affectionate words, his action demonstrated his pampering toward his wife and children. Whatever good things were left to his wife and children to eat, he never put himself as a priority. Such a man had Lin Qing, he liking him from deep within her heart. Come back early tonight. The pot of loach is almost ready. I will cook braised loach for you tonight. Lin Qing, he grinned to him. There was still half a pot loach at home, which was set aside to spit out mud. Okay. Zhou Qingbai headed out once he responded. Oh, still have to wait seven years for the college entrance examination continuation. Lin Qing, he sighed. She was really reluctant to let him do this. If the college entrance examination came, she could take the college entrance examination. The criteria for the first year of college entrance examination restart, were very relaxed. Even if one was married and old as her, can also participate. If she was admitted to university, she would take her husband and three sons away. There was no need to do this tiring farm work. 
Lin Qing, he thought was quite rosy. She did have the foundation too. Otherwise, why would she work so hard to sell the grain and pork? Whether it was food coupons or meat coupons, as well as some other coupons, she had saved a lot. So even if she goes out to live in the future, there was no worry. And as time progresses, and these coupons will gradually withdraw from the stage of history, a lot of money had currently accumulated in her pocket. At least the majority of it was the retirement fee that Zhou Qingbai brought home. If it weren't for her big expenses for the family, she could save more money. Chapter 118 Birth a boy not long after Zhou Qingbai headed out, the boys got up. The rest of the watermelon was gobbled up by them. At the beginning Lin Qing, he was still a little worried about whether they would have diarrhea if they eat too much cold stuff today. Unexpectedly, these kids were quite sturdy and nothing happened. When they went out to play, Lin Qing, he formed the dough. In the evening, they were having bean flour mantu and braised loach. The braised loach made by Lin Qing, he was very delicious, because the ingredients she prepared were complete. Rice wine, ginger shreds, green onions, chili pepper, sugar, salt, garlic. The loach's belly was cut open to remove the intestines and then added to the pot along with the other ingredients. A large plate of braised loach can be scooped out of the pot. It was a little troublesome, but because Zhou Qingbai had to go to work every day, Lin Qing, he was also willing to spend some effort to make him more delicious food to let him eat more. In addition to a braised loach, there was also a cold cucumber and the same pot of egg drop and tomato soup like the one in the afternoon. Going through the vegetable at home, there were only those few selections. There was not much difference, but Lin Qing, he still tried her best to make the dishes as good as possible. But for now, the father and sons in the family have a strong approval toward her cooking. De Wa, Er Wa, and San Wa came back after four o'clock in the evening. They brought a half bucket full of eel back. Lin Qing, he froze for a moment, where did this eel come from? Brother Zhou Dong, gave it. De Wa said. Lin Qing, he smiled when she heard it, nodded, and said nothing. Since Zhou Qingbai came back, she didn't need Zhou Dong for the firewood. Zhou Dong had now grown up, he can get eight work points, just like the adults. He could raise his sister well. His sister, Zhou Shi, was also a strong person. She would gather pigweed to earn work points. The siblings combined work points weren't little and they can live pretty well with it. In the end, Zhou Shi grew up. Previously, she got her period and was clueless. It was Lin Qing, he, who saw the blood on her pants and then brought her back. She taught her some knowledge and also gave half a gene of brown sugar for making ginger and brown sugar water to drink. Zhou Shi didn't dare to accept it. Lin Qing, he made her keep it and stated it was enough to come over and help out with the boy's shoes when she's free. As the big brother, Zhou Dong was grateful to her, so he gifted such a small half bucket of eel. Lin Qing he divided the eel in half. The dishes for dinner were already set, but since there was more eel, she'll add another braised eel. She cooked half and set aside half for tomorrow. So in the evening, there was one braised eel, one braised loach, cold cucumber, and tomato and egg drop soup. Obviously an abundant meal. Zhou Qing Bai and the others just planted the seeds and the sky turned cloudy. It began to rain heavily again. This heavy rain was refreshing within this sultry weather. What's more, everyone was delighted, because the seeds have just been planted, they only needed to do the watering after the rain. The rain continued for five days in a row. Needless to say, there was no need to go to work in the afternoon. Zhou Qingbai was able to rest. Zhou Qingbai could get some rest, however Lin Qing, he couldn't. This guy came on her as he had no work. Every night, he had to pester her and demand for a round or two. It can be seen that this man still wants a daughter. Lin Qing, he wanted to let him nurture his vitality since he didn't need to go to work. However, this guy really put all his energy on her. Soon the time passed and it was September. Dewa started school again. 
Lin Ching, he started to wash the jars to prepare the chili paste. The peppers weren't yet ripe, but they will be ripe next month. Now was the best time to clean up the jar first. Two large jars were prepared. These were the jars she brought the honey back in. One can hold a lot, so two jars should be enough. Starting from the end of this month, the autumn harvest will begin. It was also starting at the end of the month, the autumn harvest will continue until next month. This was a very grand autumn harvest, which was the same every year. At this time, Zhou Xiaomei gave birth in the city. Lin Qing, he thought she got not much to do, so she represented Mother Zhou and visited Zhou Xiaomei. She had brought two trotters as well as a gene of brown sugar. Mother gave her a half basket full of eggs. These things can be bought over. Fourth sister-in-law, how is third sister-in-law? Zhou Xiaomei asked. This time she gave birth to a son. It had Su De Lin over the moon. His family only had this single seedling, and this time his wife gave him a son, so how can he not be delighted? His uncle and his aunt were happy for him. They were very satisfied with Zhou Xiaomei, this niece-in-law as well. She's fine. Next month, she finishes her confinement and you can take the child back then. Lin Qing, he replied. Su De Lin sent a lot of things back for third sister-in-law's postnatal confinement. Christian carp, trotters, pork, etc. The purpose was to have the child sent back next month and be fed together. Third sister-in-law was naturally willing and couldn't be more delighted to. While on second sister-in-law's side, it was filled with discontent as none of the things Su De Lin brought back was shared with her. She constantly lost her temper at home. Second sister-in-law gave birth to a daughter this time. Same with third sister-in-law. They both already have sons, so they didn't care whether they were a boy or girl. Just the difference in confinement treatment was a little bit large. No one can say anything, because Su De Lin wanted to send his son back to his mother-in-law's family. The child was still young and still needs to drink milk. Naturally, they will have to trouble third sister-in-law who was nearly at the same time frame as Zhou Xiaomei. In response to this, second sister-in-law declared she won't nurse a single sip for her. Everyone just listened, not bothering with her. Now they have all separated, each lived their own life. Who would bother to support whoever's stinky feet? If they can get along, they will connect more, if not, then each does their own. After listening to her fourth sister-in-law, Zhou Xiaomei was relieved. At the end of September, Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin delivered their child to Mother Zhou. Having Mother Zhou raised the child, the monthly payment went according to what was previously agreed. Mother Zhou was naturally delighted too. She had worked for most of her life. Now that her sons were grown up, she rested at home and cooked for the old man. Who would dare to say anything about her? Besides, it was just bringing up her grandson, not a big deal. Mother Zhou can manage. Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei were a little reluctant, but in the end, they had to go to work tomorrow. After spending most of the day, they left their child behind and returned to the city. This time, they had brought a lot of things, including meat, fish, and eggs. Even like this, they didn't forget to bring a pack of candy for De Hua and his brothers. Lin Qing, he also expressed, if mother was too busy, she can babysit at her side, so the two of them can rest assured and it was enough to check on the kids when they have days off. After all, third sister-in-law's character was quite nice. Accepting so many things, she would definitely treat the child well. Chapter 119 Little Su Qing Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin's son was called Su Qing. Little Su Qing groaned wonderfully. He completely picked up all of Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin's good looks and looked very cute. Knowing that this was their aunt and uncle's child, De Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua had visited. Lin Qing, he also told Mother Zhou, if there was any urgent matter, she can bring the child over and she'll help babysit. Then Lin Qing, he went over to chat with third sister-in-law. What's going on there today? There's no movement at all. Lin Qing, he pointed her chin at second sister-in-law's room as she looked over. 
third sister-in-law uttered two points of sarcasm, after younger sister and brother-in-law returned home yesterday, there was a lot of pointing at the mulberry, but actually scolding the locust tree and caused unrest for the whole family. Winnie's uncle couldn't endure and argue with her. She packed her things early today and ran back to her maternal home. So she had returned to her old Chen's home. I was wondering what was up. Lin Ching, he had a surprised look. She's acting like the old Zhou family had mistreated her. Third sister-in-law uttered with despise. She does believe that our old Zhou's family is bullying her alone. Not worshipping her is bullying her. Lin Ching, he stated. Who would let her have her way? Third sister-in-law responded. Lin Ching, he said, let's not talk about her. Properly have your postnatal confinement. You don't need to say those things. It's really not easy to nurse two children. You must eat what you should. I know. Third sister-in-law's face beamed at the thought of the things that were brought over yesterday, third sister-in-law had no objections against the nursing matter. He didn't have to sleep with her at night and will sleep with her mother-in-law. When he is hungry, she'll bring him over to breastfeed. She also needed to get up in the night to feed her own daughter, so it was nothing. Like this, little Su Ching lived in old Zhou's house. Dewa and his brothers took a liking to little Su Ching and would come over from time to time. Even if Sanwa would ask, can little brother eat it, every time he gets something yummy. On this day, they had red bean cake. Sanwa asked again, can my little brother eat it? Not yet. Zhou Ching Bai answered. When can he eat? Sanwa asked. Zhou Ching Bai didn't know as he hadn't participated in his three sons' growth. Since he couldn't answer this question, he looked at his wife. Actually, Lin Qing, he was too sure either. When she came, Sanwa was more than a year old, so she said, he can eat it when he's about one year old. Mother, why doesn't my family have a younger brother? Sanwa continued to ask his mother. Lin Qing, he responded, who said our family doesn't have? You are your eldest brother's and second brother's little brother, no? Doesn't your eldest brother have you and your second brother as his little brothers? But I want a younger brother. Sanwa uttered as he looked at his mother, I want mother to birth one for me. Don't underestimate him because he was young. Even if he was young, he can distinguish clearly that he and his brothers were born from his father and his mother, so they can sleep together. Not from the same parents, then they will not sleep together. Lin Qing, he wanted to punch someone. It was fine that Zhou Qing Bai wanted to a child, but this kid too. You are currently the youngest in the family. If I give you a younger brother or sister, then you are not the youngest. Anything delicious, you must abide with your younger brother or sister. Are you willing to? Lin Qing, he said. Sanwa's face displayed hesitation. Mother, birth one. I'll give my share to my younger sister, but you have to give me a younger sister. I already have two younger brothers, don't need more. Zhou Dewa piped in. I want a younger sister too. Erwa nodded. Mother, birth one. I will let my younger brother or sister eat it. I don't have any of the younger brother or sister. I want both, give birth both for me. Sanwa thought it through and replied. Lin Qing, he looked at Zhou Qing Bai and met the man's blazing gaze. But. She can't give birth. She did ligation, how can she give birth, ah? Every one of you are so troublesome. It's not enough to wait upon you, now you want me to birth another to serve again. All of you scoot to one side. Besides, your sisters and brothers from your three aunts are also your sisters and brothers. It's the same. Lin Qing, he waved her hands. Then she stopped talking to the children and the children's topic ends here. She didn't know how to answer this group of stinky boys, who get more voluble day by day if they kept going. Lin Qing, he went back to the room, to tidy the room. The sun was wonderful today, so she took out all the quilts used for the winter this year and hung it out. Zhou Qing Bai came in. You came at the perfect timing. Quickly help out. 
both of our big quilts have to be taken out to sundry. As soon as Lin Qing, he saw him, she assigned him to work, uttered. These two big quilts were brought over by her. One weighed seven jeans and was extra large in size. It was enough to cover even three of Zhou Qing Bai. Not the same. Zhou Qing Bai stated this without warning. Lin Qing, he hadn't wrapped her mind around at first. It came to her after a pause, this was the answer to the sentence she dismissed the kids with. Birth one with the same father and same mother, they will like it more. Zhou Qingbai stared at his wife. Lin Qing, he gave him a sweet smile, I know. I didn't say I won't birth one. It's just fate haven't arrived yet, no? Zhou Qingbai nodded and decided in his heart that he would redouble his efforts. Have to say, Zhou Qingbai was really envious of his three brothers before him. They all have sons and daughters. Although he had the most sons, only three mischievous boys, but no girls at all. If a daughter is born with his wife's looks, she will definitely look beautiful. Lin Qing, he coughed and shifted the topic, let's make a new quilt for father and mother this year. The last time I saw, father and mother's quilt was quite old. This year it's okay to cover the mattress with it, but can't be used as a covering. Do what you think best. Zhou Qingbai responded. He didn't intervene very much in these matters, it was all up to her how things go. Lin Qing, he nodded, wait until this period's cotton get handed out. You and the boys don't need anything made. Last year's one can still be worn. I'll make another knitted vest for each of you, at that time, you won't be freezing. Zhou Qing Bai was always clear about her ability to take care of people. There was nothing she couldn't manage. Only on the matter of getting daughter left him helpless. He didn't know what was going on, why was his wife not pregnant even until now? This year's winter isolation, I will take you to the hospital, to see. Zhou Qing Bai said. Okay. Lin Qing, he planned to confess to him at that time. This matter can't be kept hidden forever, he'll know sooner or later as this man really wanted another child. But she couldn't born one. Confessing was the only way. Now Zhou Qingbai was occupied because the autumn harvest had begun at this time. Once Zhou Qingbai participated in the autumn harvest movement, Lin Qing, he began to make her chili sauce. It had her extremely spiced up. But her man happened to like spicy food. Even if she had to make a sacrifice, she must make it for him. Chapter 120 Plump Rabbit, when Zhou Qingbai returned from work in the evening, he saw his wife's eyes were completely red. Only when he asked, did he know she was making chili sauce? This made Zhou Qingbai, the big man feel touched and distressed. Why are you looking at me like this? It's just these two or three days of hard work. And I like chili sauce. Lin Qing, he remarked. Then she got the children to wash their hands and prepare to eat. Because the autumn harvest has begun, Lin Qinghe's cooking was aligned with nourishing Zhou Qingbai. Tonight was a scrambled egg with cucumber, a minced pork with beans, and a steamed taro with pork ribs. The soup was shrimp skin and seaweed soup. The main was cornmeal mantu. T slash N, I don't think I ever touch on this. In Chinese culture, Carbohydrates were seen as a main dish like rice or noodle or something made from flour, like dumplings, mantu. In Ireland, boiled slash fried rice and noodles are like sides here and the meaty dishes are the main. I assume it's the same in American or European side of the world. Not sure about the rest. After Lin Qing, he finished eating, she continued to make her homemade chili sauce. The bowls and chopsticks were left for Dewa to clean up. Zhou Qingbai wanted to help but was sent away by Lin Qing, he, take advantage while it's still early and go back to grab some loach and rice field eel. She had cleaned all the pigsty and chicken pens and also fed them. When it was summer harvest or autumn harvest, she will handle these works. If Zhou Qingbai was idle and didn't want to rest, then he can go catch some wild meat. If he can get some, it will be added to a meal the next day. Zhou Qingbai went to catch loach and eel. 
he headed out at half past six and didn't come back until after seven. At this time, daylight hadn't ended that quick. So it wasn't too dark, but it did start to get dark. He didn't capture that many, only seven or eight loach. As for eels, none. Raise in water first. Once more is accumulated and it'll be cooked together. Lin Ching, he said after a quick scan. Then directed him to take a shower and prepare for sleep. Lin Ching, he had finished today's chili sauce and was about to put it into a clean jar. Chili sauce was very easy to make. Mince the chili, mince the garlic, and then add the appropriate salt. Stir these three things well, and it's chili sauce. More garlic should be chopped up. As long as it is fermented in the jar for half a month, it truly became chili sauce. Lin Ching, he was confident in her culinary skill. One jar was definitely not enough for the whole family to consume, so this time she brought back a lot of peppers and planned to make a few jars to keep and use slowly. Lin Ching, he continued to make chili sauce the next day. At noon, when she came to deliver food to Zhou Qing Bai and her three sons, her eyes were red again. No need to make so much. Zhou Qing Bai urged. It's fine. Lin Qing, he didn't mind. De Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua were obviously very starving. They knew that their mother was like this due to making chili sauce, so they only worried about eating. For lunch, Lin Qing, he made some simple spring pancakes and a shrimp skin soup. The spring pancakes had two meat filling, egg, and diced meat. There was more veg, like tomatoes, cucumbers, and greens. Eating the spring pancakes with shrimp skin soup, both father and sons were satisfied. San Hua, do you want to go back with mother? Lin Qing, he asked San Hua. I will go back with my father. San Hua shook her head. Lin Qing, he let him be. This mischievous kid had long wanted to participate in the autumn harvest with his eldest brother and second brother. Before he was too young. Now he was three years old and was more sturdy, so she let him stay. Lin Qing, he went back by herself. She contemplated killing a hen from the backyard tomorrow. This time she planned to grab an old hen and leave the new chicken for laying eggs. But when Zhou Qingbai returned in the evening, he brought a particularly plump rabbit back. Plump rabbit? Where did that come from? Lin Qing, his eyes lit up. Mother, it was caught by dad. De Hua excitedly exclaimed. It wasn't just De Hua, Er Hua and San Hua were even more excited, the rabbit had cried out and dashed over. Everyone had yet to respond when father caught it. Gang Tai and the guys were envious to death, but it's useless. Their father isn't as great as our father. Er Hua declared with extreme pride. Yes, not as great as our father. Sanwa bobbed his head. Lin Qing, he beamed at Zhou Qing Bai. Zhou Qing Bai was also looking at her, Lin Qing he didn't skimp on her own praise, his father, I'll make braised rabbit meat for you tonight? All right. Zhou Qing Bai grinned. Then he went to deal with this rabbit. Lin Qing, he prepared all the seasoning. At this time, it wasn't too late, just only after six o'clock. Zhou Qing Bai had taken care of the rabbit for her and passed it over to his wife to cook it. The backyard's work was already handled by his wife, so Zhou Qing Bai grabbed a bucket and headed to the door. I'll go with father. De Hua tagged along. Give this to your father as well to fill his stomach first, Lin Qing, he called after him. De Hua munched on one in his mouth, while he took another tomato for his father. Zhou Qing Bai ate the tomato on his way to loach catching. Lin Qing, he stewed potatoes and braised rabbit meat. Zhou Qing Bai and De Hua punctually returned. When they came back, they brought more than a dozen loach with them. Including yesterday's ones, they can make a dish tomorrow. When the father and son came back, Er Hua and San Hua were close to weeping from the temptation. The scent was really unbearably delicious. Came back at the perfect time. I don't know if your grandparents have eaten over there yet. De Hua, deliver this plate to your grandparents. 
Lin Qing, he came out with a small plate. Although it was a small dish, the portion wasn't little. It was definitely enough for Father Zhou and Mother Zhou to eat. De Wa speedily sent it over. On the way, those children were about to burst into tears from gluttony. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were in the midst of dining. There was pickle veg on the table. When this dish of stewed potatoes and braised rabbit meat was brought over, Father Zhou was about to swallow his tongue. Mother Zhou too. Can't praise Fort's wife's cooking enough. I think her cooking skill can be comparable to the old chef of the past. Giving a very high evaluation, Father Zhou said. Mother Zhou smiled, but did not say anything about Lin Qing, he, the fourth daughter-in-law. Speaking of these four daughters-in-law, the other daughters-in-law can't be compared to fourth daughter-in-law on the matter of filial piety, even though she was the most disobedient one. Whatever good stuff they have, she will send a plate of it over. Today, Old Fourth caught a rabbit and will definitely cook it. She estimated that she would send a plate so she didn't cook any dishes. As expected, it was delivered. Dewa delivered the meat and immediately returned home. You didn't wait for me. Dewa saw that Air Wa and San Wa were eating and exclaimed with a glare. What didn't wait for you? Your braised rabbit head is reserved for you. Lin Qing, he said. Dewa looked at the untouched rabbit head and grinned, it's still mother who loves me the most. Stop chattering. Wash your hands quickly. Your rice is in the pot, it's ready. Lin Qing, he ushered. Dewa went in, took out his own rice, and then began to eat the braised rabbit meat. The stewed potatoes and braised rabbit tasted the best when eaten with rice. The soup can be sprinkled on the rice, not to mention that it was more fragrant. There was no other side dish tonight, just this dish of braised rabbit meat as well as a tomato and egg drop soup. This was enough. It had everyone satisfied after eating. Lin Qing, he planned to kill a chicken to nourish the father and sons. Can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.